Welcome to the Bright Side Home Theater Podcast. The Home Theater Podcast, it's all about the experiences. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I can't see or hear anything without the headphones. Uh, well, <laughs> what the sights? It, we're waiting for the sights from you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> from me? Yeah. Uh, you're the one that says the sights. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the sights, the sounds, <laughs> the screams. <laughs> what did you do, Steve? I can't see. Whoa. Yeah, mask. Yeah. Oh. Nobody told me about this uh, Halloween. <laughs> <fed>. Halloween thing <laughs> yeah. comes around every year, John. Yeah, but <laughs> it's can't it's you like... see the the. I spent literally seconds decorating the back <laughs> I, of my. Uh, I see. Thing. Yeah, yeah. This, this took seconds at least. <laughs> I I had this thing left over from John. I'll remember. I can't even see my microphone here. Uh, oops, hang on. Do are we still on? Can oh, yeah. everybody still hear me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I forgot to there. hit record. Um. Yeah. No, I had this thing. This was, uh, if you guys remember, back in 2020, there was a lot of jokes going around about wearing masks. So I wore this on the podcast, and yep. that joke didn't play well. <laughs> that did not age well. No. <laughs> but, yeah, I still had it. So I have the shirt, and I'm sitting around, and I was like, hey, all right, this will be a fun fun little, I can't see a damn thing. So yeah. how are you guys doing? How's your week? Good, good. Yeah, good. Yeah, live and kicking, live yeah. and kicking. Spider Man Two taking over my life. So well done for the uh, yeah. the mask deed. I like it. Yeah. There you go. Very, very yeah. good. It's on it, brand. Um, yes. <laughs> it, well, it's just the problem is as great a game as it is. The problem is that uh, I can't then fit in anything else. So when I've got two minutes, spent, you know, half right. an hour or, or an hour, I think, oh, film, game, game, film, film, game, and it's like game, and yeah. then don't see the film. So it's yeah. driving me. Crazy, but nearly finished, thank goodness, because I've got so many horror films I still need to see. As a, as I mentioned to you guys earlier, my Halloween season is going to be till kind of, you know, Boxing Day, right. <laughs> if not longer. Probably till like... Well, well and it well, started ha- back at Easter, Valentine's so... Day. Yeah, <laughs> Easter, well, <laughs> Easter, I, it's like every month. That's what I'm like, yeah. you texted that. I was like, please, please say that on the show. I was like, you're like, oh, I don't know. I'm like, you've been doing horror movies all year yeah. long. It's like, we brought you on the show, and it was like, okay, time to do more horror, which is great, because I was not really doing them except for October. So funny. <laughs> but oh, man, I, uh, oh. I still have a few left, too. I got, mm-hmm. I never got to one of my favorites in, um, uh, what you call it, uh, the uh, uh, Donald Sutherland. Uh, invasion of the Body Snatchers? Invasion of the Body yeah. Snatchers. There you go. Oh, Thank, you. That, Thank you. Yeah, I never, we never got to that one. So we're doing uh, we're doing another one tonight. It'll be in next week's. It's the it just came out, just dropped on Kaleidoscape. So yeah. that should it just oh, came out. So that should be a fun one for Halloween. But let me okay, get this thing nice. off. You guys talk to yeah. yourselves. I got to. All right. Yeah, man. <laughs> just, well, you just, keep uh, the just, shirt on. <laughs> yeah, keep, <laughs> that's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, oh good. All good. Okay. So yes, it's now uh, I just so you know, guys. There's been some weird reports tonight of strange yeah. things really? walking around. Yeah, we've had it things in the house going bump in the night. Is, huh? but, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I haven't seen it, but apparently there's things walking around. Yeah. So uh, you know, yeah. hopefully, if you don't, if you see anything, let me know. Hopefully, there won't be. Okay. Not, yeah. You know. <laughs> Yeah, I'll let you know. I won't let anything happen to you, Steve. Nothing sneak oh. up behind you. Nothing like Time that. Time you get over so. here, I'm long gone. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just a funeral yell. and everything. I'm just <laughs> just gonna yell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, look out! <laughs> hey, look out! Yeah. Oh, oh mm. man. But yeah, no. So I've got so many horror films still to see, but I, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going as you know I will. Um, so uh, yeah, but just just ridiculous amounts of stuff coming out. Um, nice. But all good, all good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that's cool um 
we got some good horror this week. We had a trim our mm. list. Uh, somebody went in the complete opposite direction of Halloween. And not the week. person you'd expect. No, not at all. <laughs> no, I mean, it's your horror month, and you're the one that's gone, you've veered the most from it, <laughs> which is pretty funny. It's like every week, it's like, hey, look at this. I'm playing video games, too. <laughs> <laughs> like, like to not be, you know, put in the You box. didn't get the memo, <laughs> John. Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. You can't, pi- can't be pigeonholed. No, no. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. It's like, <laughs> um, <coughs> yeah, too far. Although, uh, in fairness, John has, has, has risen to the peak Oh, Halloweenness! This week, I have, I yeah, have. absolutely, and I am, I am kicking myself. And he wanted to do drop. It. I'm, I don't want to give it away till we get no. to it, but he's like, we could drop that one. <laughs> I was like, no way. <laughs> We've kind of done it to death already, yeah, but yeah, we have. <laughs> but it's kind of the epitome of yeah. us, <laughs> of everything, <laughs> and of oh, all yeah. things. Like you said, Steve, it's like that's the epitome of Halloween right now. So right. for us, mm. so oh, yeah. But uh, um, as soon as that comes up, let me know. I'm going to hide under the desk, okay? Just in case okay. there is another uh, another repeat of last time. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Was that that no. one? I didn't, it I was. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh it yeah. That's too yeah. funny. That's too funny. Um, I got. I I have a pretty controversial one coming up this week too. Oh yeah. Uh, I think I think so. I really enjoyed mm. it, but. I think it's. Uh, I think a lot of people could be like, "What the hell? <laughs> Why?" Oh, I have to um, look at the list again. I don't know what you're talking. Yeah. About. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know. I think hey, I know. Have you guys heard the rumors? Um, something, something big's happening Saturday. <laughs> Do tell. Uh, and, 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 yeah. I, to be fair, yes. Um, I think uh, my oh, local rugby team, Bath, are playing Northampton Saints. It's going to be a really big game. Looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I really know what you'll be doing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, uh, I I wanted to have the schedule done by yesterday for uh, for people that don't know what I'm talking about. The 24 hour home theater podcast on Saturday, starting at 6 a.m. Eastern time. Um, Todd is going to kick us off at 6 a.m. and he's going to finish us off at 5 a.m. Him and I will do the first hour and the last hour together. Uh, and then everything in the middle. I've got some people booked like pretty much rock solid right now uh it's still in flux as steve knows <laughs> things have moved uh the response has been overwhelming uh overwhelmingly fantastic i am trying to get everybody in that asked to be in but it's not gonna i have 24 spots because todd's taken the front and the back uh and so but there's 24 hours so 24 spots and i have over 30 people right now and I, as it looks right now, I think I might get everybody in if people can go. Because when you get down to the end, it's like, this is all I got left. Can you do that one? And if they're like, mm, no, okay. So then you got to go to somebody else or whatever. But um, we're getting down there. And uh, it's, you know, it's, I knew it would be a little bit hectic trying to organize all this but everybody's been really good uh we have some people that obviously couldn't make it um and i I, a couple reasons i was telling you guys last week i was like i don't want to put the schedule out for one in case somebody has to drop out i don't want them to be everybody be like oh where did he go you know so any or whatever and then also i think it'll be fun for people just to go as you go and be like oh he's if somebody's like, who's this guy what you know and that'll be fun but then of course it is it's a live stream but i've had a lot of people ask me am i going to be able to see this later and yes it's always available on youtube all our live <laughs> streams are there on youtube all you got to do is just go to our live section and you'll see all of them there. And this is going to be one that I will go back after this is done and I will put in the timestamps for, well, the guests in each hour that they were in. So then you can go back forever and just, oh, I want to see such and such. I want to see when Steve showed up. I want to see, you know, I know. Or so it'll it be kind of fun. Now, can yeah. we stream the whole thing for 24 hours on X, Twitter, whatever it's called? I don't know what's going to happen with that. That's a good mm. question. That's a good question. Yeah. Um, I think... Let's start it off and see and just leave it running. And, and I don't well, know whether we can then... I'm going to have... Well like, or not. So I am going to be creating the links tomorrow. Okay. So first I'm going to create the link for... Todd and I are going to do a preview show tomorrow night just to, 
you know, you would do in our hour fireside chat, as we call it. <laughs> and we're going to hang out and just talk about how this came up and stuff like that and preview the 24 hour show. Once I do that link, then I'll create the link for that. There'll be three links for the show. So that three eight hour segments. And then the last hour, the last segment will be nine. But that way I, I can transition from there. And I'm going to test out. I think I can actually do it from here. I can have all three links going. So when I transition, I can be talking to people in both of them at the same time, I think. But I've got to, that's still a logistic I have to work out. But worst case scenario, I just, boom, I just go over to the next one. And when you create <clears throat> those links, it goes with the, the Twitter one too. So I think on Twitter, it would just pop to the next one. So it'll always mm. be on Twitter. So you can stream okay. along there as well. Well, I'll try and uh, stream it on mine as well. So, mm -hmm. you know, we've got, you know, multiple ones going. Yeah. But we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, man, it's cool. Well, I mean, obviously, if the, only, the only solution, though, Deej, if you've got too many people for 26 hours, is to go for 36. I know. I think it's the only way, isn't it, John? I mean, I, come on, we can, we can, let's see if we just, can break Deej. Yeah, just go exactly. longer. <laughs> it was funny. Yeah. Yeah. I said... <laughs> That was one of my things. I kept seeing more, like, I'm getting more. I'm like, all right, maybe I could do this. Maybe I could do this. And I'm like, I, no, I got to draw a line. No, no, I got to yeah. draw the line somewhere. <laughs> I was doing 24. Now I'm doing 25. So I got to draw the line at that. And then, but I did think it myself. And then I texted Todd and I was like, Todd, this is crazy. I'm like, I've got all this. And I was, I was working it out with him. He goes, well, you just got to go 30 hours. <laughs> that was his first reply. I'm like, that's what I thought too. But I don't, yeah, no, I don't think that's, that's a good idea. Um, no. So, but yeah, really looking forward to it. So it'll be fun to see who's in the chat then too. Mm. And, uh, yeah. you know, so, but that will, that'll be fun. Um, uh, anything? Oh, and speaking of which, I do have, as we said last week, um, Chris couldn't make, can't make the 24 hour show. But as we said, he's doing a, um, uh, uh, He's heading to the Bay Area at the end of November, beginning of December. That's Chris Deering, Deep Dive AV. I got the image up right now. Um, doing calibration tour in the Bay Area of California at the end of the month, the beginning of December. And him and I, right now, we have it tentatively scheduled. He'll be on. We're going to do a live stream at on the 13th at uh, 4 p.m. Eastern time. So that'll be up and we're going to, you know, deep dive into calibration and stuff because clearly it's been a hot button topic and stuff. And so, well, you can come on and ask Chris questions and we'll, we'll go, go from there. And that, that should be a lot of fun because as we've heard through the conversations, there's a lot of like misunderstandings <laughs> and different things, meaning to, like what's good, what's bad. How do you know how to, it's, it's crazy. So. Uh, I think that would be, uh, I think it's very topical. So what do we got? What are you laughing at? Steve? We've got, a, we've got, have, uh, Deej, have you been being mean to friend of the show, Carl? Oh, Carl, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got chopped. So I that, got, I got I, cut, Carl. <laughs> Steve not only got chopped. Oh crap. My, uh, my TV just went out for a sec. Um, yeah. Yeah, that, and this is going to be fun for 24 hours doing this. Um, yeah, Steve not only got chopped from two to one, but he got moved. I had to move yeah. you out because I'm taking, um, I'm trying to accommodate West Coast, East Coast, Europe. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm like, I just, I, when I first sat down here to do a podcast four years ago, it's like, I'm like, this was not what I envisioned. It's like, someday, this is what I want to be do. This is what I want to yeah. be doing. Um, so it's, I love the it. Challenge. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Make that hour great. <laughs> yeah. And he will. And it's, and, and that's the thing. I think the crossover, every, uh, everybody's asked like, um, can I, can I, just come on early. Can I stay a little? Yep. Yep. Five minutes. I'm thinking on either side, you come in a little early, I can pop you in and you can meet whoever's before you, after you have some chats and stuff like that. And just it's, that's going to help me a ton too. And I, like I was saying to you guys before we started, I'm like, I'm seeing all these guests and, and I'm just like, I can't wait for each of them. And it's like, so like every hour, it's like, I, I think it's going to go by like that for me. So 
Uh, not so much for you guys, the listeners. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be twenty four hours no matter what. Twenty four hours for twenty five. Twenty five for everybody. But yeah, and it's yeah. So looking forward to it. But hey, Carl, thanks for uh, thanks for popping in. Um, yeah, yeah lots um, in the chat. Let's, let's, Paul, we should say Andrew. yeah. We should say hi to the guys in the chat, shouldn't we? We've um, yeah. So I couldn't see earlier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'll, I'll say so. Yeah. Mike, Mike Tram's in. Good old Mikey uh, Rangul's in. Um, Rangul seems to think there's been some weird stuff going on in the background. I don't know what that was. Yeah, I can't kind of right. I didn't see anything. Did you guys see anything? Well, the name nope. like Van Gool. Yeah. <laughs> he should know. He's going to be like hypersensitive to that. <laughs> yeah. Well, quite. We. I mean, we never saw that. I don't know what that's nope. all about. Uh, nope. Scruffy's in. Uh, hi, Scruffy. Um, we've got uh, VJ uh, is in, and uh, Carl's yeah. in, of course, and. Uh, Paul Let's Hertz see, just dropped in, and uh, and as I say, Carl fan. Ellsworth as well. Good old Carl. Carl, yep. And uh, I'm, VJ I'm never, uh, VJ never got me his address. He won the the mug last week. I just realized that. So VJ, oh, hit yeah. me, up, email me that address. I'll get that out to you. I forgot all about it. Oh, I just hi, saw Greg. your name, and we're back here again. Yeah. So Greg, and, I mean, Carl, how you doing, I'm buddy? Surprised, I'm surprised Carl's got time for all this. The strike's over. I can imagine his fingers furiously typing on the keyboard. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> to be fair, Carl's Steam. a bright guy. I'm sure he's been writing away the whole time. He just can't do anything with it. And now he's just got nah. these stacks of <laughs> money makers <laughs> surrounding him. Don't say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the uh, for the the screenplay uh, that Carl's going to do of three plucky podcasters. Yeah, uh, that uh, talk you know home theater and uh, get well, up to all kinds of hijinks. Yeah, two two plucky <laughs> podcasters and one courageous uh, attorney, uh, defense um, lawyer. <laughs> defense lawyer. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we need that screenplay. That we do need. That's got to be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, uh, that come to blows over Evil Dead Rise. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> Hey, Nelson. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, Nelson just it. dropped yeah. in. Carl just dropped in. Carl with a K. And he said, Carl's saying, sadly, we are on the road, so we'll miss all the fun over the weekend. Um, but as I just said, you can always catch it in, you know, in reruns. You know, we're going to be syndicated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that looks, it, I'll Paul see Hertz what I can do on that, Paul. <laughs> yeah, no, Paul, Paul. No, 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 no. Halloween's today. We don't need more bloodletting at the weekend. Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How did you do that, John? What were you like? Just chopping away, getting all I was excited, slicing a um, piece of meat, and it slipped out. It was greasy. It slipped out of my finger, and the knife. So you just kept slipped. cutting. I just kept cutting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just keep on going. Yeah. 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 Walking wounded. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> VJ, I got crop from zero hours to zero hours. <laughs> oh. So there you go. Dang. Well, yeah. I, did you oh. did you email me? I don't remember. <laughs> um yeah. I, I may have misplaced some people too. That's yeah. the other thing that stinks. So hopefully I didn't misplace people, but um but if I did, well, I apologize. Be, uh, will there be people going, I cede my time to the honorable gentleman of yeah. uh, whoever it might yeah. be? Yeah, <laughs> just bring others in. I'll see you sometime. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> uh, so, um, let's see. What do we got else? What else do we have going on around here? Where are we got? Are we ready to get to? Nope, we're not doing that one. There we go. Are we ready to get to our home theater Ooh, yeah. experiences? Is there anything else we need to talk about? Uh, thank the patrons. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I kind of dropped the ball on them the other day. I I tried to. I tried to stream my recording of yes of today's Takeover Tuesday that I do. So I'm like, hey, mm -hmm. I'll invite them in, and I'll, if they make comments, I'll talk about it, put it in the show. And I'm sitting here, and up in the top corner, I'm like, zero. I'm like, oh, okay, everybody's busy. Okay, <laughs> nobody. I get off, and right away, Mikey Schramm's like, um, yeah, I tried to get in, but it wouldn't let me, and I had set it to the wrong setting, so it was oh. private. <laughs> nobody could get in. Nobody could get so in. I talked for, and the funny thing is, is because nobody was in there, I'm just sitting there like this. So it's like, I, they still have access to it. And there's like 13 minutes of dead air. Me just looking around, probably picking my nose, forgetting them what I'm doing. And I'm like, so yeah, you got some. You got some if that's what you were doing, then you've got off. Yeah, one. well, yeah. Did well. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did. I did go back in that. And I said, I told everybody, just skip to the 13 minute mark. You'll see. <laughs> like, but, uh, yeah, so, but uh, yeah, so a lot of fun stuff going on there. Ian, uh, yeah, I mean, Ian, yeah, yeah. Hi, looks Ian. like he's from uh, the UK with a Union Jack. Oh, sorry, the or Union. he's a big fan, <laughs> big yeah, fan well, of the UK. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. Just, well, that could be. <laughs> could but, be. Uh, yeah, hi, Ian. Uh, welcome along. 
Yeah. Hi, Ian. Mm. Thanks for uh, joining the chat. Um, yeah. So thank you to our patrons. Thank you to all the people who support us. Thank you to the mem- uh, the YouTube members too. We're, we got off the show last week. We thought we only had two. Uh, we had Greg and Chris, and then we had one more add in that w- didn't talk didn't say anything so we didn't know and then i happened to go on and i looked and uh where is it it's i should be able to find who it was uh Mm. yeah somebody well so some i'll find it um i forgot where it was i gotta grab it but so yeah we have three so you can do that did i send it to you guys yeah i'll find it while you're talking okay What's, what's um, that? Yeah, the the running order. Members, yeah, the member YouTube members. So you can you can support the podcast by becoming a YouTube member, and you get a fancy little icon. Waiting well, for trick or yeah, oh. Is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning out there today? Is it it's supposed to? Be I guess so. Today, yeah, yeah. We yeah. Get it till I, Monday. Oh, immediately. Jealous. Oh, you don't. Yeah, you don't get it till Monday. Yeah. Till Did Monday you see week. the conversations going on with it? With uh, I think it's Ralph and Mike from AV AV Nirvana. Michael's. Uh, he's, he had a, his, his, uh, PB, I think he has PB. Yeah, he must, it must be PB, PB 3000s, dual PB 3000s in a 12 by 14 room that he runs hot. <laughs> like wow. now yeah. that's, that's a lot. Right. And um, he said they were port chuffing on mission impossible dead reckoning. He hmm. said it is a, a base beast and it is, I, mine weren't port chuffing. I didn't, but I don't run mine hot. Hmm. It, um, but yeah, it is, it is a fun experience. Yeah. Well, go ahead, John. Port you're chuffing. <laughs> like it's, yeah, it's when you're is. like, if you run it hot, like if you would have to have ported, you have to have ported subs, but you put, it's like Rob could do a better job of explaining it, but it's like, it can't get in enough air fast enough to oh, make okay. it. Cause it's bring the ports are like dispersing the air and it, you'll start to, you'll hear this like, <laughs> it's, it's a weird chuffing oh, noise. I have ported sub subs, but I've never yeah. heard that. Yeah, uh, you, anyway, it, uh, it takes a lot to do it, and that's why it was such a fun conversation. Before we get too far, Joe Wires. There we um, go. Was the Thank original. you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Um, Gorinder, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, Gorinder. And, uh, and yeah. And, yeah. So. I, uh, I, no, I'm looking forward to Dead Reckoning, but we don't get it till, I say, till Monday. But um, yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Along with Trading really Places good. and Scrooged on Monday oh, nice. as well over here. <laughs> nice. 4K, so that'll be quite good. Yeah. Um, but, you know, horror first, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. We ready to um, get to our real HT experiences? Yeah, sure. Dude, thanks. We've, we've got a few. Yeah, I keep meaning to shorten that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I guess I got bumped up to first, huh? <laughs> yeah, you got you're you're up on it. Yep, you're up. I think I'm on deck. I don't know, but yeah, something like that. We'll see right. as we go. Yeah, there so you I go, had to, John. Take it away. Yeah, I had to get back into the Monarch verse this week because I've got yeah. two two more movies. Um, so this week I watched Kong Skull Island. Um, this was 4K uh, UHD disc, uh, Dolby Atmos. Um, so if you remember previously, I talked about the two the two Godzilla movies. Um, and I thought this movie uh, was better than both of them uh, when it comes to the home theater experience. Oh, really? I thought, yeah, mm. I thought, you know, like Godzilla had a lot of, like his his kind of screech and it had a lot of that, but Kong yeah. had the, has the roars and that really set the subs to thumping. Um and I, I thought this thing was was fantastic. Um, I thought it looked great. It, it sounded awesome. It's a great movie. I hadn't seen it in a long time. Um, mm. I did. I forgot that this was kind of like an Avengers reunion movie. I don't know where this slots into the MCU, but I mean, we <laughs> oh, had yeah. we had Captain Marvel, we had Fury, we had Loki. Um, so yeah, it was like I kinda, forgot that too. Yeah, in game point. point five, I guess. Um, yeah, but yeah, yeah, great. Great experience. Um, I thought, like I said, the bass was was really heavy, and um, and it looked fantastic. So, uh, good, good one. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I, yeah. I, well, I'm like, sorry, go on, Dave Sherman. No, I was just gonna say, I I had a question this week. Uh, I I mentioned it in today's Takeover Tuesday. Um, somebody had asked. I apologize. I forget who it was. Uh, if Steve and John didn't have their names right under them, I'd forget them too. Um, <laughs> but. 
somebody had asked, like, John, are you going to get back in? This is for John. It was on YouTube. Are you going to get oh, back see into it, this? But, yeah. Well, are you going to get <clears throat> in preparation are. for Monarch coming up yep. later this month? That's coming out, like, what, the 19th or 20th or something Yeah, like, like two more weeks. So I've only got one. The last movie is Kong versus Godzilla, which, again, I've seen before, but I'm going to mm. go back and, and revisit oh. it um, sometime probably next week before before the show gets ready to start. Um but yeah, yeah. Um, looking forward to it. Um, again, I've seen that movie, but I haven't seen it on my current setup. So uh, I'm interested to see. I expect that one to be the spectacle of <laughs> of all the spectacles. Yeah, <laughs> when it comes yeah. to when it comes to these. So well, it's. Um, I mean, the it's like an HDR spectacle. It's an yeah. Atmos spectacle. It's like it's just so much that end scene in the yeah. Uh, it's. Is it Tokyo or wherever they are with the or Hong Kong or yeah. okay. with the yeah. the neon and every oh my god yeah. it just looks it's that's an awesome yeah some, I'm looking um, forward to spoilers it. <laughs> yeah looking forward to, to ruin uh, it for you yeah. it's got a big lizard in it and a and, yeah. a, and, a, and a big monkey yeah. <laughs> yeah a monkey and a lizard <laughs> <laughs> spoilers and too many people really. <laughs> Like, yeah, uh, like yeah. All, all, all you really want out of that movie is Kong and God. This could have been 28 minutes long, and if it was just Kong and Godzilla just duking it out for 28 minutes, yeah, that would have been fine with me, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I, lo- I loved Chris Brown. Hi, uh, how you doing, buddy? I don't know if we said hi to him yet. <laughs> no, uh, he just dropped in. Um, I liked how when that came out, and there was a lot of people, oh, that wouldn't happen. Like they didn't like the way they made it work, and no. it was like, um, hello, it's a giant <laughs> monkey and a giant lizard, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm like the fact they even tried to bring some realism to it is like, like, like kind of like the Meg, you know, right. they bring like a little bit of science to it to make it seem like this could happen, and be like, well, that would never happen that way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Anybody seen Moonfall? <laughs> <laughs> hello. <laughs> so. Um, um, what I like about Kong Skull Island, I mean, there's loads of good stuff in it, but as an Atmos demo, right from the beginning, you can hear yeah. planes moving around the room yeah. where you, you can't see them. And I, I think that's yeah. absolutely brilliant. That's a just pure sonic kind of uh, show off. I mean, if you're yeah. watching that on a stereo TV, none of that means anything to you. No. Right. But if you're watching yeah. it in Atmos, it's moving right around the ceiling. You know, you can hear yeah. these things before you can see them. I think it's great. And then the bit where you first see Kong slamming his hand down and just the room just goes bananas yeah um yeah yeah no it's it's a really good film I, i've got to go back and rewatch some ready for, for for the new one i really do need to do that i've got them all in, in 4k I, I can't wait any mm. excuse to watch those when i can fit them in amongst all the horror yeah um <laughs> so i'm looking forward to that i wish i wish well, we back had in the, the time back to in the day the these one. used to be considered horror movies so they yeah. fit right in yeah they, yeah they, you know because these used to always be on like the creature double feature and those things it was always gong and godzilla and yeah and, uh you know was that local to us john probably i, I mean like i'm sure every six or 38 or something i'm sure everybody had a similar saturday afternoon yeah Mm. Th- thing like that but yeah for us it was creature double feature <laughs> on saturday yeah. afternoons yeah. yeah yeah and so every saturday I, I yeah. love, creature features are great you know and yeah. they go back to you know obviously godzilla and the guy in the suit and jaws and, and all right. those kinds of things and you know they're, they're all great oh, yeah. um yeah. Well, and great. these were all the old black and white movies you know they were all the old <laughs> black yeah. and white movies chris and, chris yeah. in the chat brought up a great point um I'm, I apologize. I don't know what scene he's saying. The bass is incredible in that scene. Which one we were talking about? I think about. probably the hands. Okay. Is what we so were talking he about. He says the bass is incredible in that scene. Then his next, he says, so lacking on the HBO stream though. And then he says, zero LFE on the stream. And that's a great point. I'm wondering how much of that actually gets squelched in the stream. And that could be part of like why the dynamics just aren't as good is yeah. maybe that entire point one just might not even make it, you know, because it's like, all right, we just, we won't even put that in the stream. You still get good bass, but you're not getting that extra the low frequency effects that right. would actually help you know, add to the dynamics. So it's interesting. Well, I don't, I'm, I'm going to have a comparison between disc and max here in, in a little bit. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. So. Cool. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. 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 Sorry. I'll just tweet what you mean by that. John. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, um, 
you ready for the next one here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This is the one that I was like, all right, here we go. Yeah. Empire <laughs> in Brooklyn from, oh, damn. What was this? 95, I think. Uh, it sounds was. about right. I forgot, yeah. to, I forgot to write it down. Oh, um, Eddie Murphy, Angela Bassett. It's a Wes Craven movie. And have have either of you seen this? And have, I, if you have, have you seen it recently? I haven't seen it recently. I'm trying to remember if I've ever seen it, period. Yeah. But I, I imagine because it's Eddie Murphy, I probably did back in the day. I did. But, yeah. but I don't remember it. Um, yeah. I, I have seen it once mm-hmm. and I haven't seen it since. And that oh. was like around about the time of release. Um, I I remember it being because Eddie Murphy went through a bit of a fallow patch, shall we say, where some of the movies he were doing was perhaps not quite to the standard of some of his earlier work. Right. And from what I remember, this is one of them. But I don't. I, as I said, I've only seen it once. Was it the Golden movie? Child? What you're what, saying? Eight, what? That was <laughs> See, no, I like the Golden Child. So did I. I liked <laughs> them all. Four. Yeah, but what about Boomerang and Oh my yeah. god, I love Boomerang. Yeah. That's hysterical. Oh. That's oh, hysterical. <laughs> Boomerang and then I mean he where I kind of dropped off a little bit is where he kind of went over the top with the multiple characters where it's like he played mm. like 10 Some, people in whatever. the movies. Like Nutty yeah. Professor. Yeah. Those things. And it's like, yeah. yeah, which was kind of a it not kind of but it's a remake. Right. Um but this one I was I think I saw it on Twitter or something. I saw it, somebody made a comment about it and I was like, Oh my God, I haven't seen. And I, it was one of those. And like I said to you guys, this is why I love doing this show like this, because it's like just what, whatever just strikes you. Let's just watch that. Right. And I still have, you know, um, and I forgot the name of it. Again. I've, I bought probably six other horror movies this month and I never, we, Jen and I never got to them. And then this one here, I was like, I'm watching it. I bought it and watched it one night. And I was just, I was up and I'm like, all right, I'm going to watch it. And uh, Kadeem, Kadeem? Is that Kadeem Hardison? Is it hard? I was going to say Harrison. But yeah. Hardison. Yeah. And he was on, um, I think it was. Different that, World. Different World, which was the yeah. Cosby spinoff or something, I think. When yeah. they were in the college. Yeah. And he's kind of like the same person in this one. But if you remember the movie, he gets like, quote unquote, killed early on so he's decaying throughout the movie it actually looks really good like the yeah. makeup the special effects and special effects from 95 <laughs> but it's it starts off and the opening scene is a ship coming into the um you know brooklyn port <laughs> Ooh, and it is it, it the demeter no it's not I, the demeter is it i don't think so but that would be, be fun. Cool it if it be. was, would it? Yeah. 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 No, I don't know. Um, no, because this is. It was a. I forget exactly, but I thought he came from like Haiti or something like that. The Caribbean. Well, it says the Caribbean yeah. on your little blurb here. So. Mm. Oh okay. Caribbean vampires. Yeah. Yeah. So, he. Um, so yeah, the ship's coming in, and it, you don't get very high. This is I got I watched it on Kaleidoscape. It's in Blu-ray quality. Um, I believe it was. Uh, I know it was five point one, but it might have been Dolby. I forget off the top of my head. It's in the notes, um, or DTS, whatever. But I upmixed it, of course. The sound was really good. But back to the picture when you're first seeing that. It's a dark scene, lots of fog. Some of it you can see is like digitized fog, and you're like, "Oh, okay, this isn't gonna play too well." I'm like, "It's it it might not age too well." But once you get past like probably the first two minutes, and the ship starts crashing into stuff, and then they just go to live shots, it play it looks really nice. It the the it, nice depth in the in the black levels um it was like a surprisingly good because maybe that was because the opening scene i didn't have high hopes for not a lot of grain in this it w- wasn't grainy at all um lots of detail the skin tones costumes the hair makeup the, like i said the shadows um but and when i say the skin tones when you look at like angela bassett and then any other guy in the movie and you're just like, oh my, she's like porcelain. She's just beautiful. And then they'll go to like a close up of Eddie Murphy and you're like, 
like a, there's like pores. You can see everything, right? But it's a guy, right? And then later on, Eddie Murphy, like when he changes, like he'll like transition a little bit or towards the end, he really transitions and it's heavy, heavy makeup as a vampire. Um, and it's, you're just like, okay, that's not real, but it's still just, it's fun. Um, mm. And like I said, Kadeem Hardison, as you said, John. Um, yeah, Kadeem Hardison. Yeah, it's it, it's so good. Uh, there's an opening line. I think I put it on Twitter. I don't want to say it here, but uh, he gets thrown out of his like townhouse by his wife. <laughs> He's like, hey, baby. Robin everybody. Gibbons. I don't think it was it. Yeah. And she's like, he's like, he, he's out on the sidewalk. He's like, hey, what, what? He's like, everybody snores. <laughs> and she's like, not while there. And you fill in the blank. <laughs> it was so funny. I like burst out laughing. It was like, but there's little like lines like that throughout. But um, the sound, nothing major. Ambient sounds, uh, lots of nice ambient sounds, especially there's one scene in the police station and you can hear people talking all around you. Um, there's a uh, cool sound, cool scene of sounds coming from the right side as like Angela Bassett looks off screen to the right and then it progresses. You'll, you'll know it when you see it. It's very pronounced. It's pretty much like the only one that you'll be like, what the heck? And she's talking to it off to the right side of the screen. So um, that was really cool. Uh, but it, I just I had a lot of fun with it. If you like Eddie Murphy and it's, you know, it's a fun fun vampire movie or as they say on hashtag dork dracula movie um yeah a lot of fun fun home theater experience and uh, i'm glad i did it i really am it was mm. it was pretty good pretty good i i had forgotten it existed i completely <laughs> I know. That yeah. Movie. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah too. just kind of yeah <laughs> yeah oh, well. um eddie murphy plays a few different characters in this one he plays a reverend and that's a funny scene because he's trying to convince everybody because he's the vampire, but he's trying to convince everybody that evil is good. And he's like, right. evil is good. And he's doing it as like a, a like reverend. And he's like, if you don't have evil, you can't have good. So evil must be good. And he keeps doing all that. And he's like, evil is good. Ass is good. Get yourself a piece of evil ass. That's really good. <laughs> so funny. So great. He also does an Italian guy, which is straight out of, I think, Raw. And it's when he does his Rocky thing on yeah. like, and he's like, yo, and he's like, doing all, the it is hysterical. And you, I don't think you could do that one today. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's pretty bad, but it's so <laughs> funny. And it's, and he's all made up in white makeup. He looks like an Italian guy. Um, and he's supposed to be, I think a mobster or something in, in New York. And he's just like, oh my God, it's so great. So great. Lots of fun. So, um, all right. Uh, you guys ready? I don't even know which. Oh, Steve, you're up next. Okay, what do we got? Land on me. Remind me. You, you, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is funny. This, this is, funny. is funny. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to yeah. happen with this one. All right, here we go. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking it from this. This is Ghost Dog, The Way yeah. of the Samurai. <laughs> I'm taking it from this. I know DJ's never seen it or heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> what about no, you? I was all excited. No, I have not. Okay, all right. Well, seen it. first things first, it's got nothing to do with Halloween. Right. <laughs> ghost yeah. dog is the name of the character. It is not a ghost or a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah. So this is a, now this is a movie that, that I had heard of and kind of knew about, but had never seen it. And it came out here on 4K disc, uh, late i think early last week i think it was um and this is a movie uh it's a very unusual kind of film this is a uh a, a martial arts kind of mafia drama a okay, very strange mix of things it's a bit like you know the various genre things on unhinged you know where they had you know m malicious and you know threats and all this stuff mm. it's a bit like that's a really strange mix um forest whitaker plays the aforementioned ghost dog who is saved by a mafia uh, gangster and then feels that he owes him a debt and he is uh the forest whitaker is um uh, uh kind of follows the samurai way and he 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 does martial arts sort of 
Um, and uh, so he ha- feels he has a code and he owes a debt. And so he's been this mafia hitman for a period of time. And then the uh, something goes wrong and the mafia decides to come after him. And it then follows kind of him staying one step ahead of them, also uh, you know, getting his own back to a certain extent. It's a very strange movie, but a good one. Um, and and well worth seeing in terms of the film. Now, the 4K disc, bear in mind, this is the first time I'd seen it, so I had no frame of reference for this, um, but it's a really good quality disc. It's a Studio Canal release over here, same people that did U571 and things like that. Um, and the remaster, because this movie is going back now as well, The remar- it's 1999, this, so this is you know, 23, 24 years old. And it looks really good. It, the, the grain is is almost non-existent. Um, there are no sprint, print speckles, no issues with any of that. Um, and it looks really good. It's only in um, DTS HD 5.1, but up mixed. And uh, again, it sounds good. The soundtrack has been done by RZA. Um, and so, of course, it's all very hip hop. It's all kind of '90s hip hop stuff, and and that sounds great because there's a lot of bass to it and everything else as well. So, I, I yeah, I thought it was good. It's a really solid movie, this one, um, and and I think it's a movie that a lot of people have seen and really like. And so, it's good that I finally experienced it this way. So, I'd, I'd recommend it, but it's not perhaps what you might think it is. I'd recommend if you haven't already seen it, see it and you know see the trailer first, and then if you like the look of that, then pick it up. Uh, but yeah, it was good. Yeah, I'm glad I've seen it. But yeah, nothing to do with Halloween. <laughs> no. Cool. <laughs> nice. How would you rank it as like far as like our martial when we did our martial arts? Oh, it's 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 not like that. There are no kind of I mean, bizarrely, I mean Forrest Whitaker does some sort of cartel with swords and with knives mm-hmm. and stuff. But in terms of he never otherwise he never goes hand to hand, everything's just with guns, um, which isn't very samurai. Um, and also mm-hmm. neither is this idea that he's an assassin. Samurai weren't assassins. They were open field warriors. They'd want to meet you face to face and fight because they thought that was honorable. It was the ninja that were the assassins. You know, this is the thing. So, it, so none of it quite makes sense. But so it's not. And so don't buy it as a martial arts movie. Buy it as a drama, you know, and, and, and Forrest Whitaker is very, very good in it. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's a strange movie. As I say, it's an odd film. But, but and, and hard to compare it to anything else because it's so idiosyncratic. There's no other movie that I could say this is exactly like that, at least not for me. So, yeah, but really good. Really enjoyed it. And, and again, it looks like the people in the chat that have seen it uh, liked it as well. I think Carl uh, likes it. Jordan, really pleased yep. as well. So, yeah, that was good. Yeah. And, yeah, and what Carl, was seeing, guys? Carl's saying he went to the premiere. I'm assuming for Ghost Dog, mm-hmm. not for uh, Vampire in Brooklyn. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's him and Eddie um, Murphy. Yeah, exactly. Are we, sure, are we sure that Carl is not just Eddie Murphy in makeup? Cool. Could be. Could be. Never assume um, anything. Nope. <laughs> no, I'm done with that. You know what that means. <laughs> um, Jordan says, I'm so happy that Ghost Dog has finally released on 4K and Blu-ray in the UK. Forrest Whitaker is one of my favorite actors who I think is incredibly underrated. Um, yeah. Yeah. He He's one of those. I wouldn't put him in like... What do we like? We said Denzel Washington, we think, hmm. and I'm trying to think of some other people. I wouldn't put him in that category. Um, no, but I it, think he's a character actor, really. Yeah, I mean, he's he more has, of a he has, he's a great secondary in a in a movie, mm, right? Mm, like mm. I think of him in um, uh, Good Morning Vietnam, mm, right? Yeah, right. And, and, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And it's like, but he's he's a great secondary in a movie. I don't know. Has he been a lead? Was he? He wasn't a lead. In well, he is in Ghost Dog. He's, he's leading oh, that. He? Um, yeah, and there was that one where he was the butler, or um, I can't remember. I, oh, I mean, I've never even seen it, but I, I just know yeah. that he, okay. he had a, he did. It's not called he's, the he's butler. Had a couple of mm. Was it the butler? Yeah. Well, there is a movie called The Butler, and there was where it goes through the the various presidents, doesn't it? Um, yeah, and Alan and Rickman plays Reagan, it. doesn't he? Um, yeah. If I remember rightly, yeah, I've only seen it once. It was really good, but um, no, I but have yeah, to look. But <laughs> but yeah, so I that recommend one where he was the get... butler. Yeah, the butler. <laughs> yeah, <There you> go. <laughs> sounds like we're talking yeah. about like the the theme to Seinfeld for one right. season. Like, oh, we're gonna, <laughs> I'm going to make him your butler. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, there's a lot of movie to talk today. 2013. Yeah, that, that, uh, there was that one movie in the 90s about dinosaurs. It was set in this Jurassic Park, but I can't yeah. remember what it was called. Yeah, it was, I think it was the Jurassic <laughs> period. I forget. Yeah. It's like, I don't know. It was a zoo or some kind of park. I don't know. 
Yeah, man, there was a shark. It had big teeth. I think it was called Jaws or something. Welcome, know, welcome to my brain. It's like, I got the files. I just don't know what order to put them in. <laughs> And hey. that's if I get the files. I've never yeah. seen it. I was good just to remember it existed. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. It's, it is go. good. It's good actually, I've only seen it once. I've got the Blu-ray of that. And I and actually, it's really good. Yeah, I think yeah. Rickman's playing Reagan. I think he is. And it's actually a really warm, wow. well-told film. It's a bit Oprah like Forrest Gump. Uh, mm. Oh, it's got an wow. awesome cast. Yeah, 2013. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. it's the um, the guy that did directed Precious, I think. Um, John Cusack. Really, but yeah, it's good. Nixon. Mm. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, so I recommend Ghost Dog, but as I said, it's not a Halloween movie. Don't let that fool you. Yeah. Um and but it's it is worth seeing. I don't know if it's out in 4K over there yet, whether it's gonna come over, I don't know. But don't don't go importing it, guys. Watch it first <coughs> and really like it, then import it. Otherwise, because it is such an unusual when I movie. run out of content, I'll import it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's gonna say that's gonna be a little while then, Yeah, but, yeah. exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um all right, we ready to get to this next one? Yeah. Um, okay, I'm right, gonna, right. Just, I'll be back. I'm yeah, well, actually, back. I would... No, Steve, you go. I'm going to practice for Saturday, and I might... I'm not even... I don't have to go use the bathroom, but I might as well try. I'll, I'll see what it's not, like. Well, make sure you turn off the microphone and the camera, yeah. DJ. We're going to go yeah. right there. Oh, I'm taking the camera with me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, All Darren. right. Here we go. <laughs> Why? Oh. Why? <laughs> All right. Why? Let's get this clear. Which well so, now? Which one of the three of us has watched it? <laughs> well, are we guessing? Um, know. It wasn't get, DJ. <laughs> you get three guesses, and you can yeah. eliminate one. And for the yeah. audio folks at home, you can guess what movie we're talking about. Yeah. Um, come on, people. So, Evil Dead Rise. <laughs> Um, Say it I again for the people in the back. <laughs> like evil, evil Dead, dead rise. rise. And there was a lot of Evil Dead rising in this movie, <laughs> I must now, say. Don't go there um, again, John. So don't this was the again. this was the 4K disc. I watched this a month oh. and a half or so ago on <laughs> HBO Max. Um, they put this disc on sale for 10 bucks the other day on Amazon. And I, <laughs> I scoop, wonder why. <laughs> I scooped it up. Um, along with like three or four, they had a ten dollar sale, and I got like five five movies uh, for ten bucks a piece. Uh, this was one of them, so I watched it last night. Um, of course, again, four uh, K disc, Dolby Atmos. Um, I thought the stream on this was pretty good when it comes to the Dolby Atmos uh, presentation. Um, this disc was amazing. <laughs> I mean, it was amazing. I thought the I thought the Atmos on this was was starting from second one where you get the the fly in the credits, mm -hmm. um, and then you're on the dock with the drone, and then you've got you know the books, you know the record. I mean, just everything in this um, in, in this movie when it comes to the track, I thought was fantastic. Uh, video wise, I thought it was pretty comparable uh if i remember right on on max mm. it was in dolby vision um it, on the disc it is not um i thought picture wise it was pretty comparable but the audio on this was i thought it was spectacular um and so yeah i i, I know we've talked this movie to death i'm not going to get into the merits <laughs> of the movie although dj i think you need to get on the bright side of history on this one because <laughs> Um. <laughs> oh god i'll get under the desk what does that, that mean I'll, I'll be back guys you just, just let me know just, just give me a message i'll come um, out I, I well i don't even get what that means oh no it's, it's okay. a play on words I, I i'm sure you've heard get on the right side of history before you've been alive for 53 years so oh yeah yeah um, so yeah, yeah okay. so the bright side uh -oh. of history that ah, was just okay. a pun that i guess went right over your head but john, um, john stop putting the pin no, what i'm like stop putting the pin <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this is where it gets fun, people. Yeah. So for me to be on the bright side, I got to be on your side. That's right. That's the bright side. Oh. <laughs> so wait a minute. The guy that founded the bright side. Oh, not <laughs> on this movie. Bright... You're not. <laughs> um. Well, in my opinion, it is. That's the bright side. I didn't like it. So like. <laughs> so anyway, so. we're not going to go there uh, on this. Um. <laughs> But this is a fantastic kind of, disc. Throws the dagger into the shoulder and goes, we're not going to go there now. I don't want to fight with you, but just pull that out and we'll go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Um, Steve. Can I just say? <laughs> Steve is getting so nervous. I, I know. We gotta, it's bring, like we're, we gotta, we gotta actually, we gotta bring this, we gotta bring this to full so people can see what? the full expressions because John and I are just having fun. Yeah. <laughs> Steve, um, Steve's just like oh. itching. Steve's, yeah, Steve's yeah, getting yeah, ready yeah, to yeah, hide yeah, under the I'll, table. You want to keep going, yeah. John? Merely make him uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> like on, I said, we, we've we've discussed the merits of this movie ad nauseum yeah. for like four weeks in a row. I think on to this which show. there are none. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, this it. is a this is a reference disc when it comes to audio. I, I yes. thought this was really really good. Yeah. Um. You know, whatever you have to say about the movie, you can't deny that the disc right. is incredible. Mm. Um. And, and I think I everybody think has seen I, it I in the chat. That. So, um, yeah. like, cause we've talked about it a bunch of times, but I, uh, I see it's a shame Travis isn't in the chat cause Travis watched it recently on Kaleidoscape and okay. he had an absolute blast. He loved it. Mm. And, and both the audio video and the movie itself. And, yeah. and beforehand he was like, Steve, you know, is this any good? Am I going to like it? I'm like, Oh, you are indeed. And he blew him away. You know, really, really enjoyed it. Um, I, I mean, I, I don't want to we're, – we're obviously going to have our review of the year at the end of the year about kind of favorite films. But to me, this will be my Northman, I think, this year. If there is really? there is a better home theater experience this year – I mean, obviously, I haven't seen Oppenheimer yet. Yeah. I have seen the other one of those, um, which we'll See, talk I, about next. Yeah. yeah. It, it, Oppenheimer, I think, is going to be interesting because especially mm. – I mean, in this group here, Travis doesn't like – Speaking of Travis, Travis doesn't like variable aspect ratios, but I think this group's pretty good with them, right? Nobody here hates them. If anybody, it would it was me, and most of it I don't like. But in this movie here, it's like I, I, mean, I love. I could it do without movie. it, but it doesn't ruin yeah, the film. For but you me. don't hate um, it, yeah? Right? It doesn't ruin anything for right. me. But I I could do without it. Yeah, my um, well, yeah, my my thing with Oppenheimer is going to be whether I see it first on 4K disc or whether I see it with Chris Nolan. Because right now there are moves afoot to see it. In, I know. With uh, his personal print. Yeah, which yes. would be awesome. I've heard, <laughs> I've heard the personal print is fantastic. Yeah, well, yes. quite. So that's yeah. that kind of thing. Had that conversation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those two, whichever's first. But mm. the point I'm trying to say with Evil Dead Rise is I, I will be surprised if there is a home theater experience. And I include the film in this, not just the, the experience. I will be surprised if there is a movie that I enjoy more this year in my cinema room than that. I loved it. And I, yeah. as I said at the show, I'm kicking myself because I didn't think of it as well. And when yeah. John put it up, I didn't have time to then watch it because I any excuse to rewatch this. I absolutely yeah. love this movie. I'll, I'll pull it back yeah. up again. It, to be uh, fair, too, it's uh, like a lot of people that I've, <laughs> I've heard a lot of reviews on it, and the people that, like, love it, they, mm. like, John, you've seen the other ones too, right? I've like, seen, well, I've seen the. I've never seen one. <laughs> I've seen Evil Dead. I've seen like Ash, Army of Darkness. But okay. I, I know there was some other ones kind of in between that I didn't see. Um, like I didn't see the remake of Evil Dead, which was a couple of years ago, I guess. 2013. Okay. Evil Dead 2013. 2013. Oh, so I guess yeah. it's that, 10 years. That's one to, to think, trick out. Which to I haven't like, seen. What? I haven't seen that one. But, you know, I was always, you know, I watched the Army of Darkness series on show like i've always kind of been into it okay. um but this is not really that other than the fact that you have the necronomicon existing these are not really the same movies you know yeah. ash versus the evil dead was very much a horror comedy mm. you know this is not that this right, is not it, this is not attempting to be used, funny. I didn't, i've never heard that till you said it you know, so I'm, I'm not I don't in think the they universe, used it. Right? I don't think they really used it in this movie. But you no, know but what my, it, you know what right. it is. But um, what I mean is, like J Jen and I are sitting there watching it, and we're like, "What? The we don't get." It. There's no backstory to us. We're like, right. "Why is any of this happening?" We didn't like from beginning to end. We're like, "What the heck was this about?" Nothing. I mean, to right. us. So, like everything you just said explains a lot of that. Just seeing any of the other movies, having a a familiarity of the of the universe i'm like we had none of that so i'm just right. like this is just gore for gore's sake which is kind of why i never got into that in the into this series anyways um i'm not, that's not the, my kind of horror gore for gore's sake now to you be know? fair lydia lydia walked in the house last night at about the i don't know last 10 minutes or so 10 to 12 minutes or so of this film and was just shaking her head like because it I was bet. just Covered in blood, you have yeah. this like eight arm 
concoction yeah. or thing crawling around and she was just shaking her head like what are you watching but <laughs> um but you know if i just walked in with 12 minutes to go i'd probably be doing the same thing yeah but um but yeah i don't know I'm, now I'm again surprised. we differ we differ because i feel like this was very self-contained like i feel like everything you needed to know for this movie was in this movie um i don't think the fact that you didn't know the book was called the necronomicon has anything to do there with that yes you know Sorry about oh. that. I just had to take yours down. Yeah, you came up. I yeah, literally yeah. was just thinking of Mark V because of this. I'm like, oh, yeah. we haven't heard from him in a while. And I'm like, is he okay? Has he been around? And there he is. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> He's on Twitter all the time. Yeah, he was tweeting so, earlier today. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I'm not keeping up. I can't. It's yeah. <laughs> I haven't been. Like, <laughs> if you DM me or it's like you say hi to me, I'll keep up. But I haven't been on, like, the main part of Twitter. So, uh, Mark V, nice to see you're still around. He says, hi. What's up, yeah. HT mm -hmm. fam? Nice picture. Um, this but, wasn't um, for you, yeah. but I thought of you. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I think Evil, Evil Dead 1 is kind of a – is is straightish horror. Evil Dead 2, um, Dead by Dawn, is, is a horror comedy. Evil Dead 3, Army of Darkness, is, is a horror comedy, right. um, and deliberately so. Evil Dead 2013 is not very little humour in that. That is a kind of real gallows humour, um, you know, where someone, you mm. know, got their arm, they've just cut their own arm off and they're like, oh, I've got a bit of an itch. You know, yeah. it's, it's real gallows <laughs> humour. And then yeah. you've got, and then this has got no comedy in it at all. Flesh, I mean, right. Yeah, quite, yeah. Yeah, Monty Python special, but it's it's really really good. I I think this film's fantastic for people that are into this stuff. I mean, right. You know, uh, uh, yeah. and I the whole theater. I, I never wrong. argued that. I thought it was, mm. I thought it was fantastic. The audio. I I honestly, and I said it before. I didn't think I wasn't as enamored with the picture as you were, Steve. I thought it was mm. great, but I wasn't like, oh my God, this is an amazing, yeah. like there weren't a lot of scenes where I was like, oh man, the depth, this and that, and the detail, it was mm. just, it was really, really nice, but it, it but the, the audio was really, really nice. And even Jen was the same way. We were watching it. We're like, that was pretty cool. That was awesome. Mm. And as a home theater experience, it was great. But as like horror movie, it's like, we, we've had other ones. I, I forget what it was, but it was like some hitchhiker movie or something we saw. This is like probably 20 years ago. And we saw it in the theater. And all of a sudden, like somebody gets hit in the road. And then this wing comes up and goes like a, it was, it turned into a gargoyle right when it got hit. And we're like, hmm. what the hell was that? Like, where did that come? And we were both taken right out of the movie. We're like, it seemed like it was going to be more like the hitcher right? Like a thriller horror movie. And then all of a sudden it went supernatural out of nowhere. And you're like, what the, not, not anything, not anything like, um, what you call it? Jeepers Creepers. It might've been, it might've been Jeepers Creepers or Sounds something like, like that. Jeepers but Creepers. yeah, it's, yeah. It, was, I mean, well, it was horrible. We, it took us right out of it. We didn't like that. So in fairness, if it is Jeepers Creepers, that's it. That's the exact same effect it had on me. It's like jewel. And then it suddenly yeah. goes, like yes, just a yes. bat thing starts flying around, and at that point, I checked out of that movie as well. <laughs> yeah, because I was like, "Wait a minute!" But it, it, it but it wasn't like um, from dusk till dawn. Oh yeah, no, yeah, which no. that one I loved. That saw that in the theater. I thought it was. I had no idea when I yeah. saw that in the theater that opening weekend. You had no idea what was yeah, going to happen. It's just like a heist movie. Yeah, like, you know, and then that does like that. You're like, it, what? <laughs> I'd say it's a 180, but you're like, I don't know what's behind me. That you can't say right. a 180, right? Because <laughs> it's like it just goes completely different direction, which I thought was fantastic. I actually did watch that this week. I just didn't put it in the notes, but because mm -hmm. uh, we had a bunch. But it is. It's fantastic. It's only in Blu-ray. Uh, it looked pretty good, um, but it, it's like at one point I was like, "Oh, is this 4K?" I looked it up, and I'm like, "Oh no, it's just HD." But the very high contrast, but it's uh, very <laughs> creepy too. Quentin Tarantino's character is just like, Bleh. yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's, it, it's yeah. a yeah. I mean, and knowing kind of some of the things we know about him. It's oh my god! Yeah, I would say <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, but too yeah. far off. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! And it's dead on. And this, I was like, there. Oh my god! Now that you back then, we didn't know anything about that. But then, as right. more of his movies come out, you're like, dude. And it's like, it's nothing wrong with that, but. <laughs> Just don't put it in all your movies. I get yeah, it's, it's, I, I, I'm not going to slight anybody for their picadillos, but come on. <laughs> I don't need it in the movie. 
Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, uh, let's get to do- Jordan Carpenter here saying, yeah. <laughs> I've left it up. The <laughs> Evil Dead Rise is still my favorite horror film of the year. Absolutely amazing 4K disc. Uh, I can agree with the last part of that, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> and it might be my favorite okay. horror film of the year, too. Yeah, uh, it's it's easily mine, but it's close to being my favorite film of the year. Yeah. I mean, it's just, I just, I mean, again, I appreciate there have been some very worthy movies this year, but <laughs> for uh, sheer roller coaster ride, yeah. ghost train, if you will, this is, you know, this is, this is everything I wanted it to be and hoped it would be and more. Uh, and then Mark V says, I finally got the 3D drone with the disc. Um, oh, so, okay. Yeah, the effect, you mean? Yeah, the stream. Yeah, well, yeah, because I think the stream didn't quite. The stream that, didn't do it, the but the disc, yeah. the disc got, definitely you, did. You can, I was yeah, just going to so say, cool. you like that, John? Yeah. That was that was a great open, and that's that's what's mm. so much fun too. It kind of for me, maybe it had the opposite effect, right? Because like mm. like I said with uh, Vampire in Brooklyn, you know the uh, Oscar winning Vampire in Brooklyn, yeah. um, <laughs> it kind of like it brings you in, it like lowers your expectations, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh wow, this is really good. I I tweeted out some pictures and stuff, and great vibrancy and everything, right? Right. Well, the opening to Evil Dead Rise is so great, and in, in that. It's, it really is like very immersive 3D audio that you're like, wow. And then you're like, where it? And like I said, Jen was like, that was awesome. And we backed it up and did it again. And it actually, it sucks you into the picture too and gives you like, it's like, it makes the picture feel 3D going through like that, down that river and everything. And you're like, oh, this is awesome. And then you're like, as the movie plays out, you're like, okay, all right. Can you, can you hit me something up? Oh, okay. Can you hear we'll me? With, I need another yeah. drone. Yeah, can we, can, we, can we do something more? And and I was honestly, and I did say this before, Steve. Remember, I was like, I was honestly disappointed because you had said how gory it was, and right when the drone's about to strike, I'm like, damn it, they they cut away. Like they like you didn't they didn't show it. The, the payoff wasn't there, and I was expecting. I was like, I had my eyes squinting. I'm like, oh no, here we go. Oh wait, they, what? Come on, Steve. Come on, buddy. You told me it was going to be gory. I, yeah. I'm sure that there is a cut somewhere of this that it, that pushes it further. I'm, conf- I'm confident of that. Oh, so that's with what we're basing movie of the year on. <laughs> well, like, no, no, I know no, they no, didn't no. do it for us, but I'm sure they have it somewhere. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. The problem with these is I'm though, sure always- Ishtar, if you get all the other pieces, <laughs> is Oscar worthy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love this as is. But in terms of the point of the gore, I'm just joking. The issue, but the issue with the gore is that, that when it comes to tone and you know um, overall kind of uh, delivery of these things, they're always pushing up against the dreaded NC17. Yeah, and they just, and no no studio yeah. wants to do that because whatever else you think about the movie, they spent money on this, mm. and so they want. Oh to yeah, get they want to make. They want to get back. Right. Yeah, you go for an NC17, and then that's the end of it, or an X rated. You know, that's it. So they've got to cut some of this for for an R because the whole thing pervasive is. Bear in mind, it's not a comedy. I think it's all gore. There's no, there's no comic relief in this movie. There's no it's barely of, any lines. Um, well, well, indeed, but well, there's no pressure <laughs> relief though. There's no, there's no, you know, janitor to come in and go, oh, look at that mess. You know, no one, yeah. no one, no one punches the kind of the, the the seriousness of it. And so I think that, that they would have had a lot of problems with the MPAA and a lot of problems over here as well with the BBFC. Mm. Um, about you know about its rating so i suspect there was some of that there but if you see evil dead 2013 that is more violent than this i mean there is someone who gets a bread you know bread cutter and cuts their own arm off you know mm-hmm. they, and, and they and you see them do it yeah. um you know and, and that kind of stuff so that is that pushes it further but but i still think it is it is gory where it needs to be but again it's just it, it's just the overall package on this I love the film. I love the audio. I love the video. This it's great. And again, I, spoiler alert, guys. But if this is not one of my number one, not one, one or two of the year, when we yeah. come to the end of the year, I'll be very surprised, and you'll be very well, annoyed. No, we won't, because you know what? And that's that's the funny thing. It's John like, and I won't be. No, I I still have I still have the Covenant as my number one because. Mm. I, I I absolutely love that movie. I love the movie <laughs> itself. I love the home theater experience, the cinematography. Everything is, shall we say, enhanced by the home theater experience. So, and it's a fantastic movie. Um, but I'm never disappointed when you find something better, 
right? So like, <laughs> Steve, if this isn't your number one, it's like you found something great. <laughs> it's okay. not like you'd be like, ah, oh, crap, I got to do this crappy movie. It's like, no, it's like, that's what's so great about all this is like you start the year out and and I don't know if you guys have done it, but I like to go back and and look at like January because sometimes you for, recency biases. You forget brutal. what you've watched. Yeah. yeah, and you forget how great some stuff was that came out at the beginning of the year and stuff. And that's why I, I try to go through and like when I came out with um, The Covenant, I was like, all right, this beats. And I forget what it was. I have to go back and look. But it's like I always keep that fresh in my mind and I know, okay, is this one better than that? And so, but yeah. It's it, don't 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 worry, Steve. If you find something better, it just means you have a lot of great stuff this year. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, hey, John, how was that for bright side? Huh? That was bright. There that we go. Bright. Thank you very bright much. I, 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 I redeem myself. I'm you did. Bright. You're on the bright side of history. <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm on the bright side of the history that I wrote <laughs> that I started. <laughs> like, imagine that. I'm sitting here. There's only three of us. I'm getting voted out. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Deej. So you're take done. Two to one. Two to you're one. done. You're <laughs> <Yeah>. done. <laughs> sorry. Okay. That'll teach you to uh, bring on <laughs> two, two extra people. Yeah. All right. So John will be taking the first eight hours on Saturday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fun, fun stuff. Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, I forgot about this one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man. Who's heard of this? Who's heard of this? Who's seen it? Who wants to see it? Here we go. Hmm. Heard of it. Don't want to see it. You don't? <laughs> You're don't. not even slightly curious? Well, not after the reviews that I've read. See, why do you do that to yourself? You, you might be missing no. out on some good stuff. Yeah, but there's so much stuff that I know is good. I saw Evil and Dead Rise. there's only so many hours in the day. <laughs> exactly. All right. To, so, for uh, the audio people, <laughs> audio people in their cars on Friday... Is this already um, out on Kaleidoscape? Uh, mm. It's on Kaleidoscape. I think it's out for rent, too. We're talking The mm. Exorcist Believer. So um, a father seeks the help of an exorcism survivor mother when his daughter and her friend show signs of a demonic possession. Ooh. So Jen and I watch yeah, this. It, it's telling Deeds that it's next to Expendables 4. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's alphabetical. What do you want me to do? <laughs> well, <laughs> now, to be fair, I really did have, I was keen to see this. Yeah. So um, tell me, tell me how it was. <sighs> oh, it's a great oh. home theater experience. It is. Okay. I'm telling you, it is a great home theater experience. Um, I was listening to uh, hashtag dork today and they were talking about um, fall of house of usher. And they were talking about how many jump scares were in that series, which is, Eight hours, right? So almost every episode of that, you get a good this jump one. scare. Yeah. <laughs> so you get eight of them. Yeah. Jen and I in this one, I jumped probably maybe at like three times. Like legit was like, oh my God. And then, and but Jen, I mean, literally came out of her seat on a couple of them. And she's laying back. She's not sitting upright like me. She's laying back. And it was like somebody said clear and hit her with the paddles. She was like, oh, my God, that was awesome. And it, I mean, there are some legit jump scares in here that were just so much fun. And it's it's audio. It's um, it's storytelling. Not storytelling, but the way you make them. You know how, like, you set up a jump scare? So if you're familiar with horror movies, you can... Yeah. Carl, <laughs> Carl, Carl's just been cut to 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, what did he say? The power of Christ compels me to never see this. <laughs> That's Carl Ellsworth. I'm with you, Carl. I'm yeah. with you, Carl. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, so it's a sequel to the original. It's another one in the line and it brings back um, the mom and uh, Reagan comes back. Uh, the mom comes back, uh, what, whatever her name was. Um, and it's actually the ac same actresses and everything. So it was really, that was kind of fun. But the story itself, we're like, Jen liked it. Jen liked it a lot. Um, I thought, I like The Exorcist better. It's just the original. This one here got really like, it's just like, okay, it's it gets over the top kind of hokey. They get a whole group of people. It's you just like, eh. and I thought the setup was a little slow as well. Like they took too much time. 
Um, remember a couple weeks ago, I, I forget the movie that I was, t- oh, Christine. Remember I said there was no mm-hmm. universe building? They did none. This movie, they built like, they could have built like 10 universes. <laughs> it took so much time <laughs> setting it up. And <laughs> it, you're just like, how this happens. And it, it just, that took a little too long. But then once you got into the home theater part, it was, the Atmos was really, really good. Um, the picture was really, really good. Really nice because they they do some, I don't know what that, you guys would know better. This is your genre. But like they drew the chalk lines on the floors and put the chairs in, strapped up. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, they did all yeah, that yeah. stuff. Like it was short, just short of a Ouija board. Um, but whatever they were doing. And it's like, but it looks really nice. Um, uh, the it, And like I said, the jump scares were really good. And it, it was very, I would be willing to bet you watch this, like you said earlier, Steve, you watch this in your living room with the stereo speakers of your TV, mm-hmm. you're not getting the jump scares. But it's the no. way they set it up. And what I thought was fun is I've seen many a horror in my day, right? Not, probably not as many as you, Steve, but I would say me and John are probably pretty comparable. Um, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Steve's seen three since we started the show. Right. So, well, didn't say, yeah, he's got another the screen for. going and he's like, <laughs> um, but you know how a jump scare is set up. There you go. I've seen you set up. You got more than one. <laughs> yeah, one, two, three, four, five um, of you the phone. But you know how to set up a jump scare. You you lower the volume. You take the focus to someplace else. It's like it's all like magician sleight of hand stuff. And I felt like they did it in such a creative way. Like, all right, I don't nothing to. Oh my god, there it is. They they actually did it like differently. So it kind of caught me mm. off guard. So I thought it was kind of fun. But, um, mm. so yeah. So you know, watch it. Well, I'm not saying it's a great movie. I thought it was fun. Maybe yeah. next October, give it a run, Steve. Or you know, January. Yeah, I, I don't, just yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Christmas Day. <laughs> Christmas Day, you After you've had your right. roast, just chuck right. it on. You open all your gifts, take the socks <laughs> yeah. that you got that you're not really fond of. Put, put them, them in your ears. Just, yeah, put them in your, there you go. Put them in your ears and throw this on. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, it was so savaged by the critics when it came out that, I, that again, with all this really So was good, the show. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, well, okay. yeah. But, yeah, but they were right. Anyway, but with this, <laughs> my first <laughs> review, <laughs> it got like ruined. To, it's like, like Dolby Digital. To, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 paint dry and Dolby Digital. Dolby Digital. So it, 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 there is so much great horror out at the moment. We are in the heyday of horror at the moment. Right. There's some amazing films this year and in recent years. And so you, we, we've only got so much time. Pick the good stuff. And so when something is absolutely savage by all comers, it's mm. it just think, well, okay, I'll skip it, you know, and I, I won't I won't waste my time on that. Um, but maybe event, you know, maybe eventually I will. I mean, even Jordan. Now Jordan is my Jordan Carpenter again oh, in the chat. We both just clicked on the yeah. same one. Yeah. <laughs> so Jordan in the chat. Now Jordan, I, I don't think he'll I don't I don't mean this in a in a in a in a in a bad way, but Jordan loves everything. Okay. There there is very little that Jordan doesn't like. And so when Jordan like says, me. after watching The Exorcist Believer on X Plus opening weekend, I'll describe it in two words, oh dear. Now yeah. that is that is damning with with very faint lack of praise. Yeah. Um, if Jordan doesn't like it and he is, he's very forgiving with this sort of thing, then, um, you know, yeah. steer clear is, is the he's, word. That he's I'm not thinking. liked a few other things. He's not liked a is few he? other things. Yeah. Yeah, we've had some coverage. I think Jordan's like me. He just doesn't offer up if he doesn't, you know, if he likes it, mm. he'll tell you about it. But mm-hmm. it's like, there's a, obviously, you know, you know, listeners know from listening, it's, they know there is stuff I don't like. Mm. You know, I just, you got to ask me, you got to dig it out. I'm not just going to come <laughs> on the show and be like, here's the list of movies I hate. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> so, you know, if you make me watch something, but you didn't, ma- and you guys have never made me watch anything. I'm just like, oh, I was intrigued by what you said about it. So I give him a shot and then I'll tell you, tell you my opinion. But uh, I think Jordan's much the same way. So, mm-hmm. um, all right. I will, I will take it down off the board now so you guys can stop being tortured. Because, <laughs> you know, it's no Evil Dead Rise, you know. Well, we yeah, actually just, had a story. <laughs> Few things yeah. are. <laughs> yeah, well, you had an you had an hour and forty minutes to subject yourself to the Exorcist believer, or you could have rewatched Evil Dead Rise and realized how you know how great a masterpiece it is. Hey, oh, come on! I just really can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we ready? Are we ready for this next Ooh, treat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
trick mm. or treat. Mm. There we go. All right. Take it away, Stevie. Okay, so this was the film we were going to do last week. Anyone last week One wondering why I said we're going to do two Anthony Hopkins movies and we only did Silence of the Lambs, it's because right. this was, the, was supposed to be the other one and we ran out of time. Um, but I'm glad we took that time because there is quite a bit to say about this. Now, both of you will have seen this, I'm sure. Yes. Yes, no? I haven't. I don't oh, think really? Jen and I Not saw this it. one. Yeah, no. And yet, Silence of the Lambs is her favorite film. Yes, I, I honestly, I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. We may have seen. I'd have to put it in and be like, "Oh yeah," you know. I it's, think, I, you, I think you, it might be one of those movies. You would. Re- I think. I think, buddy, you'd remember because of the way this ends. I mm. think you'd remember if you'd seen this. I mean, John, have you seen it? Yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, would I be fair in that? I mean, the way this ends is fairly yeah. unforgettable, is it? Is it not? Yeah. Um, and I, I, so I think you probably would remember, Deej, if you had. It, it, I mean, I don't hey. want to spoil it because you haven't, but. <laughs> Hang on a second. I, this is a great right, one. Go on. <laughs> Ian in the chat. <laughs> People yeah. still use TV speakers for sound? <laughs> How awful for them. Um, yeah, but they're probably not listening to this podcast. Because yeah. yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. if they are, they're like, what are these idiots doing? What are they talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but yes, um, Ian, yeah, yeah, people still do. I mean, we all know who they are. We all have friends that do it. I'm a very Jordan. So, right. <laughs> yeah. Surely. yeah. It's like, at least yeah. we get hold of them. <laughs> I don't think there's a display in my house. No, the one right outside here, the one my son watches down here, is the only display in the house that has that we just run the TV speakers on. Oh, my bedroom, we run the t- just the TV speakers. Yep. I have yeah. a Sonos sound bar in my bedroom. I have Aris speakers and an SVS uh, sound base in my living room, which, as I said before, I still haven't had an issue. I just actually, for the first time, I went upstairs. Not the first time I went upstairs. First time ever, I saw Jen using the subtitles. And she couldn't. She's like, that's something I can't understand. She's watching one of her stupid murder mystery shows. And she's like, she couldn't make out the some some of the dialogue. And that was the first time I've seen that. And I asked her, I go, does that happen often? And she's like, no. I was like, oh, okay. So, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, no, I don't use TV speakers pretty much anywhere in the house except for that mm. one TV. I mean, I, I do in the front room only because, you know, it, it, aesthetically I would get told off if it, uh, you know, if anything else is, is in there. So it's, you know, there is a place for everything and everything has its place. I got to uh, get Ara to make you some speakers. Aesthetically, oh, they kick ass. <laughs> oh, I bet. Do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. I'm sure. You know, yeah. I, I've seen them, man. I saw yours. They look amazing. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, if I was in the mood, he's coming over to Scotland soon, isn't he? I think he is. I remember he said. He was um, just over he, there. He, he was just uh, over there over the summer. That was their uh, uh, vacation. Yeah, he texted <laughs> me when he was flying over Boston. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm Wait. flying over. I was like, <laughs> yeah. Um, so back to Hannibal. <laughs> yes, back to Hannibal. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks so for that you, word from so our sponsor. I'm pretty sure you would have seen it. Uh, you'd remember yeah. if you'd seen it. But so this is the direct sequel to Silence of the Lambs. Obviously, Thomas Harris wrote the book, um, which was famously uh, the ending of the book was very, 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 very controversial. Um, to, and, and I mean, it, it, it's different in the film. So I think I could probably spoil the book. Um, in the book, um, Hannibal and Clarice Starling end up as lovers and they go off together at the end of the book, which mm. is a bit odd, bearing in mind the, the movie, The Flatness of the Lambs. Um, so it, it, it well, so they, they, they've retooled the ending to a certain extent, not completely. Um, and uh, it caused a lot of problems. There were famously uh, 16 drafts of the script before Jodie Foster um, and Anthony Hopkins signed on. And then there was another draft that Jodie Foster said, I'm not doing that, and she walked. So you now have Julianne Moore stepping into the shoes as playing Clarice Starling. Um, And it's Ridley Scott directed it, um, which I I think this is one of those movies people forget that he directed. Um, And you've got Gary Oldman in it playing Mason Verger. He is unrecognizable in this movie. Um, and the story carries on. So you've got a person who is a previous victim of Lecter looking for him, and you've got Clarice who is who is dealing with her own problems in the FBI, but also Hannibal is still at large, um, and you've got the kind of this inexorable um, move towards finding Hannibal and what happens. Um, so the film is 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 really good. I've always enjoyed this film. I, I thought it was it's good. It's not 
the silence of the lambs nothing is i mean it's a different director it's a different visual aesthetic it's a very mm. different story but it's still a good story it's still enjoyable Ham hopkins is having the time of his life playing this and you can see i think him relax into the role he's having fun with this with with this in hannibal whereas in silence of the lambs you can see him kind of you know um still discovering the character i think in that in a in a great way whereas in this he he's got the twinkle in his eye you know he has he is very much um uh you know in comfortable shoes with this film um so it's a really good film and if you haven't seen it either you don't remember seeing it i would recommend you see it um I'll be curious to see what Jen makes of it if silence is her favorite. So, you know, let get yeah. do that when you can. Um, so that's the film. Now, in terms of the disc, so this just came out here again two or three weeks ago in 4K. It's a universal release, it's a back catalog movie, and I was very um wary as to how it would look. Um, Ridley Scott is a visual filmmaker, he's the first one to say mm. that. Um, and and I was unsure how it would look. I was hoping it would look great, uh, but I hadn't seen it for a very long time. I had the Blu-ray and, and knew the 4K was coming, so I didn't revisit that. Um, and you know how you mentioned previously, Deej, about when a film starts with Karate Kid, you know, the movie starts great. and you're initially disappointed, yeah. and then it's sort of, you you kind of, you, you, are, you just adapt to it, it seems. Um, that's what I found with this. I, I put the movie on, and I was thinking, okay, how good is this going to look? And the mm. opening few minutes is very soft it's um the the black levels are not that great um there are some issues um with with the way it's presented and so when it began i thought oh no this is <laughs> this is basically the blu-ray this hasn't actually really been done and you think so you get a little opening bit then you get the credits and then the movie starts and once the movie starts things really change and suddenly it is crisp as anything. Um, the grain which is there is really, really well resolved. It's not obtrusive. Um, and it begins to look good, and then it looks great. Oh. And as it goes on, it, there are some absolutely stunning images on this. And I, I tweeted them out. If anyone wants to go back and look at my Twitter feed, you will see the pictures that I put up. Um, because, it, and again, this is one of those movies that once it really gets into it, you start just taking pictures. You could take, you know, constantly pictures um there's so many to choose from um the, the close-ups on anthony hopkins face um on the the chap that's trying to find him in italy in um in um uh, florence it, it just looks absolutely incredible and all these details are fantastic julianne moore wouldn't thank the 4k uh, disc authors on this because you can see all her freckles um yeah. and uh hey. and, and it's just it's really really good it looks beautiful once it gets going and the makeup on on Gary Oldman has never looked more hideous. I mean, it's just it it, it twists your stomach as you're looking at it. Um, and for those wondering, it's because um, Hannibal told him to cut his own face off, and he did because oh. he'd been given some drugs. So yeah, so he's a yeah. real mess. Um, just you know, it's Halloween. Uh, yeah. So yeah, so it looks great. Um, the audio then is is in DTS HD Master Audio, so up mixed. Up mixes really well. There are some. There's a nice shootout near the beginning. It's the only real proper action sequence um, where you've got bullets flying, cars going all over the place um, and really heavy bass as well. It's really nice um, and up mix as well. And then there's an opera scene later in the film where, you know, the music is kind of soaring around the room. Um, there's lots of really clever kind of crowd sequences and you can hear the voices all around you as well. Um, as a back catalog release, I was really pleased with this um, and it's well worth seeing. Um, and it's only over here, it's 1999, I think. Um, so probably about the same over there um, and well worth picking up if you're a fan of it or if you haven't seen it and you like Silence of the Lambs, pick it up. Is it on Kaleidoscape Deeds? Do you know? Uh, Any idea? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, I haven't looked. Well, if I'll it's in four K, it's there. Then, then, yeah, I would definitely uh, give it a give it a go. Um, but yeah, it's very, very decent um, and well worth picking up. Whether to import it or not, I don't know. If it's not available over there, it did, this um, disc here is twenty bucks on Amazon. Oh, have, I just, oh, well, I just yeah, checked. So, yeah, yeah. Oh, have, what a John. So, so if it if it you know comes down to a a, a sensible price, with another one of your ten dollars specials, if they do them with a group of yeah. them, and this would be well worth picking up. And again, yeah. like silence, it'll look awesome on the you know hundred and twenty inch screen. It'll look amazing. Yeah, uh, I so have yeah, it. Recommend. Kaleidoscape has it. It's only in HD, um, oh, but okay. it's a five one 
you know, same audio. Mm. Um, mm. But judging by how you, I, I, I'm inter, I, I'm not sure how much the 4K would sounds like it would upgrade it. It does. Yeah, it really. I mean, the detail levels really? and the HDR. Okay. It, it really does really show it off. Again, have a okay. look at the pics on my on my Twitter feed. It, it it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's really nice, really nice. Yeah. Um, but again, be warned. I just want to check it out just to see if I've seen it. You're like, I'll watch the five first five minutes and be like, oh yeah. <laughs> like I, 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 I remember the way this ends, Deej. Yeah, I, you'd remember this. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't want to give it away in case you haven't, but but believe you me, the way it goes to a particular place that that you just you're almost sat there thinking they're not going to do that, are they? And they do, and it is it is. I mean, and then funny enough. This, Evil Dead Rise, this is that where they go? Well, <laughs> yeah, but it's more it's more icky in this. Um, and you get a... Because I didn't see it in cinema, so this is the biggest screen oh. I saw it on. And genuinely, the way they resolve this, my stomach was turning over. I actually oh. felt quite nauseous at some of this because of the way they do it. You'll see what I mean. John yeah. knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Um, right. And it's like, ooh. Well, yuck. the holiday season is coming. So, okay. <laughs> it is the season. <laughs> <laughs> yeah happy so, thanksgiving yeah. everybody <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well yeah uh, it, well it's, it does relate to a special family meal uh, but it's probably not the meal you're thinking of no. <laughs> oh boy uh, uh, yeah even thinking of it's making me feel a bit queasy <laughs> you gotta have to cleanse yourself with some other horror yeah. movie yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, of them here. Uh, haven't seen Chainsaw Massacre in a while. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, all right. Look at Hellraiser wait. box set. Ah, uh, I was looking. That's another one I bought Megan? that I wanted to do. Oh uh, yeah, Megan. I didn't do that. I didn't buy that one. Talk I, to I me. bought Hellraiser. I bought Talk to Me. I have that. Yeah. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. I was going to watch. Yeah, no. That's, <laughs> Is that a horror? No, no, it's not a horror. I really like it. Um, yeah, like more it. on that next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but, but yeah, you it's bought, like. I'm surprised you bought some. Yes, no, you loved it. And, uh, and yeah, 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 yeah. You, you loved it. And I'm like, hey, I'll give it a shot. So I bought that and I figured Jen and I would watch it. It's, you know. Um, but yeah, it was one of those we didn't get around to. And, but I mean, Jen, Jen. And I watched a lot of movies this month together, so mm, yeah. um, we're Try, hoping to that keep one, it going. That one, you can have a special dispensation to watch outside of the Halloween window. Talk to me. I want to know what you think of that, <laughs> but just be ready for, you talk about jump scares, something happens in that that is about as brutal as it gets. And it, it'll, and again, it will make you just go, oh my God, whoa. <laughs> so, right. uh, yeah. You want to know one that I started that I couldn't stop, that I couldn't finish and i literally got five minutes into it um haven't seen it in many years no <laughs> no horror movie oh, wait, 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 wait wait right john you guessing come on let's guess oh no i don't know is it, is it a modern film know. an old film paul Hurt, old if film. paul's still in the chat he might have a guess and i just couldn't old, old i just couldn't film, what's that old very old and one uh, you have seen before uh-huh oh we all no, did we were questions kids. animal was, vegetable or mineral yeah. Um, animal. <laughs> yeah. Cujo? Nope. Ooh. Very close. close Very Cujo. close. Uh, uh, Cujo 2? No. Turner and Hooch? No. <laughs> K9? <laughs> nope. Paul's like, ooh, I'm thinking. Oh, Mika, man, buddy. Man, Mika. Man. Uh, uh, so, okay, started so, but so, couldn't so, finish. So. Not because the movie's bad. That's well, the other uh, not, Come not on, Paul. Um, the Harrison Ford one. Uh -uh. Not the Harrison. No, it says okay. something. Uh, that's something to do with the Huskies, right? Something so. to do with dogs. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the thing. There you go. Ding, ding, oh. ding, ding. There yeah. you go. So the other Husky I, movie. I couldn't. Awesome. I mean, you know, I, I, I've, I saw that when I was a kid. We saw it so many. And, and Jen's like, that's like one of my favorite movies when I was a kid. I started it without her, and I was like, oh, I wanted to put it in the list. <laughs> and that Gee. opening scene. I was like, yeah, Paul, oh, the thing. <laughs> um, I was just like, you know the opening scene. It's not a spoiler. It's like they're yeah. chasing it down, chasing down the husky. And every shot, I'm sitting there going, no, mm. I, I hate it. I just hate I, I know the movie. 
But I was like, I was actually going to go get Romy and I was going to watch the movie with her oh. and be like, oh, one of her. And I was just like, this is, <laughs> I, 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 it's like, it just all flooded back. I was like, I'm done. And I, I tried so hard to power through because Kurt Russell's awesome. The 4K looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. The sound is awesome. And I was just like, this is such a great, I see what everybody's saying. Like, it's such a great looking movie. What a great restoration. And I was just like, I'm ruining my day. I can't do this to myself. I'm like the poor. And I ended right at the scene when it's just before they're about to take off to go to the other site. Right. And they go and they get the shot of the, of the Husky underneath the table. I think it was a pool table or the ping pong table. Mm -hmm. And they get the, and they come in on it. And it's like, the only thing that was missing was Sally Struthers. Right. Like, oh, just give 10 cents a day and you can feed this dog. Save its life. You know, I was like, oh, no. And the poor thing with the eye, the blue eyes looking up at you. And you're like, uh, yeah, I was like I'm done. Sinister. That huh? dog looks absolutely, I mean, it, it's just a push in shot on a dog. Mm. And yet somehow Carpenter makes it look so sinister. You yeah, know, the dog sat there. The dog could be thinking about anything. You know, we don't oh, know. yeah, yeah. It well, in, just thinking, oh, they do God. the and same thing in the other direction. They put a cage in front of it, and you're like, oh, my God, <laughs> that yeah. poor thing. And you're really like, right. next the take, and the dog runs down the track. Mm. But, yeah, yeah it's oh, – and, and what I thought was great about that movie, to not that I watched it today, this week, but is – remember we watched – what was the – um, we watched it this year, the one with – uh and they had the wolves at the beginning with um gray? brotherhood of the wolf not brother i didn't see that one yet not, not the gray no i don't it was uh with um what's his name this he had the oh, scheme wind river? accent wind, wind river wind, wind river. river yeah, yeah. Wind, wind and river, they yeah. open and they open that scene where you're feeling bad for the animals as the wolves, which look like huskies, right? The And they, they take you out of it and they do a great job of like, oh my God, we feel, I think it was like antelope or deer or something. You feel bad for them because the pack of wolves is about to attack them. And then, um, what's his name? Jeremy uh, Renner. Jeremy Renner. He, he takes out one of the wolves and you're like, oh my God, now you feel bad for the wolf. <laughs> but a second ago, you didn't want the wolf to do anything to, to yeah. the other one. You're like, oh no. So I thought that was, like great how they set that up like one minute that's the villain like oh no those wolves and then the wolf gets shot and you're like oh the wolf <laughs> and that's depends. that's what they did in the thing too depends on what week of wild kingdom you're watching right <laughs> right yeah because if like, you're watching one saturday and it's all about the wolf chasing the antelope or whatever or the lion you're right. all you're all rooting for the lion but then yeah. <laughs> well, they, and they do it in prey at the beginning of right. prey with the different animals. It's basically the food chain, <laughs> right? And then also, and you feel bad for the, like the soft, cuddly. I think it was a mouse or a bunny or something. You're like, oh no! And then the snake. And you're like, oh no! And then yeah. ching, you're like, yeah. oh the poor snake. You're like, oh. so are you saying at the end of uh, at the end of the gray um, or Wolf Puncher the movie? You're rooting for the wolf, wolf are you, DJ, not for Liam Neeson? Yeah. No, see, here's the thing. It's like I, I always, I always lean towards the animals because they don't know what's going on, and the poor mm. animal. You know, it's like, and I even like, I, I feel bad. People get killed in the mountains, and then they go up and they kill the mountain lion when the mountain lion was just doing what mountain lions do. And it's not like you just taught a lesson to the other mountain lions in the area. Like, right. oh, you don't want us doing that. I see. I see. I, okay, I won't do that. I know Steve over there did it, but I don't want him to. I'm not going to do it, yeah. right? It's like, I, I I always feel bad for the poor animal. It's just like, I was just hungry. Like, I was wandering in my den. What do you want me to do? Food came yeah. to me. <laughs> but we have had an example of a delinquent animal this year that deserved what it got, the cocaine bear. Yes, it's, right. It's, That's, it's, I, I, wasn't it's, that up for movie of the year before uh, Evil Dead Rise? It's still out. fair. I think it's like <laughs> they're all there. What are you pulling them out of a hat? Like, <laughs> let me find the worst that I can do. Sorry, I didn't mean <laughs> to say that out loud. <laughs> Vangor just says there in the chat the thing 4K is $13.99. Should I buy yes. it every week? Yes, 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 absolutely. Yes. It's a, yes, it's yes. a must own. I mean, it's oh. a fantastic movie, and the restoration they did on that, like I said, the five minutes I saw was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> like, I had a great time. <laughs> it was so good, I shut it off. <laughs> like that dog looks so movie. real. <laughs> like no, no. Uh, yeah, there is a, there is a shot where the helicopter goes over where the dog does look scared and clearly is is, is frightened. He is. He is cool. at the beginning. 
yeah, you wouldn't get away with that these days. You wouldn't be able to film that now. I yeah. mean, that was 80, 81, I think it was. I mean, you yeah. wouldn't, there's no way the American Humane Association would let you fly a helicopter over a dog and scare the thing half to death. I mean, you can see it. Right. That. Well, um, I think nowadays they'd make that whole, they'd CGI that dog. Like, they'd, yeah. It would actually probably be better because yeah. you could get closer up on it. You never, no dog would be harmed. And you could even, you know, give it some cocaine. So, right. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it worked for the bear. <laughs> the only I will say that the opening scene did not play well of the spaceship. That did not age well. well that yeah, did, but, with the 4K yeah. release, you're like, seriously, did you just glue two plates together? <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, it was literally a flying saucer. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. It was. I think it was the same one that the aliens came out of to talk to Greg Brady in the Brady Bunch. <laughs> 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 What the? the Jetsons. Oh. Was, uh, and yeah, and no, another it, one that I was like, now I don't have high hopes for this. <laughs> oh, but the the, uh, the Rob Bottin effects in that are absolutely bananas. I mean, they are still cutting edge even to this day um, because, of course, there was no CG. So when yeah. you get, the, you know, that's the spider head, when you get the the, the bit that I always, oh, when I, I mean, again, I saw that film way too young. I love the movie. Yeah. I saw it way too young. The bit with the, you know, where where the, the doing, talking about the paddles, you know, the, the yeah. CPR and then the chest opens, you know, and in goes, I mean, that is just <sighs> absolutely phenomenally done. And all yeah. done with you know, latex and bits of glue and, and yeah. just just like just alien, just, same thing. Weird. It's yeah, yeah. it's yeah. and it is. It's like that's the stuff that John and I used to be like, we could try, uh, Mister Paul. Can we duplicate this? <laughs> like junior <laughs> high and stuff. Like, can we try doing this? And we, oh my god, trying to and learning how to use latex and stuff. And um, I had the question, or I answered the question, and hashtag Doc put it out today about the um, favorite costume. And John, do you remember this one when I went as Freddy Krueger? And I melt. I went to yeah, Brendan, yeah, yeah. Brendan yeah. O'Terry's house. So a kid we went to high school with, same age as us, his dad owned the funeral home in town. So I went up to Mr. O'Terry and I go, do you have any like skin, like wax skin that I could use? And he gave me a whole, like a big tub of it, like this big. And he's like, just take this and melt it over your head. And he showed me how to do it. And I went over to my friend's house and she like literally I put on a bald cap and melted this stuff all over my face. And I mean, I looked like, and then I just like rubbed in some like red just to keep it, like give it that texture, put the hat on the sweater and I made the glove. I was walking around that high school dance and I mean, people were like, the girls were literally, it had the opposite effect. The girls were like, <laughs> oh, they were running away. Cause it was like, I mean, it was a legit, the exact same makeup they would use. And it was just melted all over my face. And I loved that costume. And it's, uh, cool. That's what we, we love doing that stuff. Sorry, it's the wrong one. Someone came in late. Yeah. <laughs> DJ wearing a Spider-Man costume. Yep. <laughs> Yes, I am. Go back when you when the pocket when the uh, stream's over. Go back to the opening. I couldn't see a damn. I had the whole mask on and everything. And couldn't keep see a spe- damn watch thing. out for the confused look on John's face. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, and that's what's funny is I could I couldn't see you, Steve. All I could make out was yeah. that wasn't your face. So I still haven't seen that. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, it, it, that to me it was all white. I thought you had like a white piece yeah. of paper with the eyes cut out. I had no idea because I had the Spider Man eyes. I couldn't <laughs> see, so. Um, oh, man. But yes. But, um, oh, yeah. So Paul Paul Hurt again talks about one of the one of the memorable scenes in there, the blood test scene. Yeah. First time you see that. I mean, that, the film is absolutely awesome. You, yeah. you, you, you know, there is no. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't put it in the show, right? <laughs> yeah, well, quite, yeah. 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 Sorry. Yeah. We saved time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But very, very good anyway. So yeah, definitely yeah. buy that, guys. If you, um, it is a must own. I agree. I love yeah. that film. Yes, um, excellent. I'm glad I brought it up though, because I mean, it is a great movie. It just and and I stand by. Like I couldn't finish it. <laughs> start it. <laughs> couldn't even start it. What am I talking about? All right, John, you ready for this one? Yeah, I'm interested in this. See what this is. Oh, what you have to say? What it's all about? Yeah. Go ahead. I'm waiting for it to come up, but oh, I know what it up? is. Okay, no, bodies. no, but this was Bodies. Uh, this is a series on Netflix. Um, hmm. Dolby Atmos, Dolby Vision. Um, this was pretty interesting. Um, I, I'm guessing since you've said neither one of you have seen it. Um, hmm. 
the it's kind of a murder mystery wrapped up in a sci-fi time travel kind of thing but basically it's a the same dead body shows up in four different periods of history like 1890 1941 2023 and then 2053 um literally the same body in the same place uh, takes place well. The body's found in uh, the Whitechapel area in London, um, where Jack the Ripper famously where Jack, right. Mm-hmm. And I, I mentioned that to my wife when they when they said that, but Jack the Ripper does not make an appearance. It has nothing to do with him. <laughs> but um, but yeah, and so there's a detective in each one of these eras that finds this dead body and are trying to solve the mystery of this. Uh, well, kind of the future people are piecing together that this has happened before. Um, so the show itself is pretty interesting. Uh, it's eight episodes. Um, you know, I have questions like it's, <laughs> um, if anybody sees it and I'd be interested to talk about it because I'm not quite sure. Um, the reasoning behind some of the things that happened in the show. But um, that being said, it was, it's definitely worth a watch uh, as far as the Atmos and the, the Dolby Vision Ghost. Again, this is a Netflix series, so we've come to we know what we come to expect with Netflix uh, when it comes to their their original series and the Atmos and the Dolby Vision. Both of them were excellent on this, um, and there was quite a bit of opportunity for the Atmos to shine um, in this series. Um, and I think I think it was really nice um, in the Dolby Vision. Um, you know, it, it looked really nice. So, um, worth watching, I think. And, um, you know, it's a pretty good experience for, for us HT people. Um, but yeah, I'd be interested, um, to see, like if somebody has seen it, uh, even on Twitter, we can talk back and forth because I do have some, I, I, I was left scratching my head a little bit by the time this thing was all over with. So, um, yeah, can you tell me the- some- in in 2053, are there still criminal defense lawyers in London? There, yes, there's a there's a quite courageous. Yeah. Yes. Um, no. Yeah. Uh, the only and I'll tell you the thing too that uh, I kept making comment of because they have some technology in 2053 that I'm thinking we're not quite 30 years away from that being able to be possible yet. But then again, you never know because technology advances so fast. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, man, it's only 30 years from now, and they're doing that, really? So <laughs> I guess we'll we'll have to see when we get there. Fingers crossed, we're both al- we're all alive in 30 more years. But yeah, um, I still sat here from our nursing yeah. homes doing our uh, HD experience. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like I said, it's, right, by then it'll be like, so uh, Steve, did, did you get the TV on this week? <laughs> it's like, yeah. Yeah. I, no, I couldn't, couldn't find the clicker. It. I couldn't, yeah. yeah. Damn thing yeah. won't work. Yeah. You're facing the yeah. wrong yeah. way, Steve. Yeah. Hearing aids wouldn't do it. Yeah, couldn't hear a thing. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, like I said, it's a, it's an interesting premise. Um, you know, the idea that this body is found in, you know, four different periods through history was pretty well, that, interesting. Yeah, that's what it so. said. I'm just the synopsis. It says in 2023 uh, discovers a dead body while in 41 uh, 1941, 1890, two other to find the same corpse. Right. So that's that's actually a pretty cool premise. Yeah. Mm. So there's your um, elevator pitch right there, isn't it? What's yeah. that? That's your elevator pitch right there. Oh yeah. You know? Well yeah, it's right there. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All right, and uh, they don't mention they don't mention the future here in the synopsis. Yeah, but like I said, obviously they they right. they end up in twenty fifty three also. Yeah, so cool, cool. That sounds uh, very intriguing. Generally, yeah. I might check that out. Then yeah. you and I can have a chat. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like I said, because enough. and I, it's not that <laughs> like some shows you're watching, you're confused about like the the events of the show. I understand all of that. It's the motivation behind right. like there's ultimately one person responsible for this yeah. and his motivations I can't wrap my head around. Like, and you're just, not a big fan of time jumps either. I'm not. I, I'm not right? really. Like um, foundation, are you still in on that? <laughs> like no, that I've been one? out I, yeah. I watched yeah two episodes of season two and I was done. Oh okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so um all right. <clears throat> uh you good on that? We good on that? Yeah, good. All right, we'll pull that down. Let me see what we got next. Oh yeah, I'll be quick on this one for sure um, because I've talked. We've talked about this in the past. Um, 
But this, Jen hadn't seen this yet, so let me pull that up. Mm. When was the last time you guys saw this? Uh, last night in Soho, 4K, this, Atmos. This year? Um, yeah. Six, six, yeah. Six or seven months ago. Maybe. Great, yeah. great sure when it came horror out movie. Of- yeah. Mm. This one was like a surprise hit for me last year. I wasn't expecting a lot out of the story. Um, and then, but I had heard great things about the home theater experience. So I was like, all right, let me check that out. And as soon as I saw it, I mean, I came upstairs after watching this and said to Jen, I was like, oh man, you've got to, you got to see this. And it's taken until now. And that was one we were definitely not going to miss this October. Um, this was one that we were supposed to talk about last week. And, um, yeah, it's definitely deserves to, one i think it's a must own i mean it's just a, it's another uh what is it studio a24 another one of the it, they just keep knocking that's yeah. that's the right one right guys uh, uh it is a24 so, yeah. is 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 the uh is a studio i don't know if it is right. the studio for this but i know it's, i think it's, it is 24 is it yeah i thought it was so the right film yeah and i thought this was maybe it wasn't but they, yeah, it, I'm, I'm, I thought this was one of the many from last year that we were all just mm-hmm. like, holy crap. Um, because this was the story in it. You don't know where it's going to go if you haven't seen it. Um, it's, what would you call it? A psychological thriller? Something yeah, like it that? is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure I'd call this a horror. Yeah, I don't think I it's a horror either. either. I think it is a thriller. I think it's a, yeah. well, even yeah. a thriller. I mean, it's. It's gory. It's got, mm, it's got some yeah. of that to it. It's, it's got some supernatural to it. Yeah. Um, I would definitely, that's why I, I threw it into the horror thriller genre. Yeah. Um, because it is, it's, it's got some jump scares in it. It's got some, it's got some gore. Uh, <laughs> and it, you know, the psychological thriller part that, which is the storyline to it. Um, mm. Which uh, is, I just thought, it, she Jen loved it because she loves all that stuff, all that supernatural stuff that was going on. Like, kind of underscores the entire movie. Um, and but yeah, the, as a four K, uh, you know, the HDR on this with the different time periods that you go back and forth, the way that the cinematography is in this is mm. just it's just fantastic. The uh, lots of use of mirrors spoiler free lots of use of mirrors so multiple viewings are very warranted very entertaining because you see stuff that maybe you didn't know the first time because you weren't paying attention because you shouldn't have probably um and as the movie plays out and you you watch it a second time there's a lot of great detail very vibrant colors um and like i said the way they go through the different time periods that um and the way they shoot it. So, you know, you went, which period you're in, um, a lot of good stuff picture wise to go with a 4k HDR. And then the audio in it, the music, the, the ambience, the, the, the slasher scenes, the gore, the everything, it's all just enhanced. There's so much to it. Um, I broke this down, what, like over a year ago, right? I did, it was an entire episode I did on it. So, um, definitely, uh, great 4k home theater experience and i like i said i I think it should be it's i think it's a must own um because Mm. especially if you're into the thriller or horror genre i i would Mm. i would throw it in there so and if anyone but and anyone watching it that that, because when i saw the trailers to this i didn't know what to make of it i found the trailers a bit alienating they didn't really draw me in to want to see it. Same here. Um, and, it, and it was a friend of mine that had seen it. I think before you'd said about it, Deej, although your, your breakdown of it was, was awesome as well. Um, but someone had said, Oh no, it's really good. And I, I sat down and I bought the 4k disc again. I hadn't seen it blind by, and I was yeah entranced by it. I thought it was very, very well done. I mean, Edgar Wright's an incredible filmmaker. Mm. Um, but you know, it was, it was yeah, very, very good indeed. And Diana Rigg is fantastic in it as well. Um, it's, yeah, it's really, I think, was it her last role? I think it might've been, um, she's very, very, very good in this. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a great movie. Um, and John's favorite Anya Taylor-Joy is in it as yeah. well. So yes. it's, yeah. uh, it's all good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, it was a universal release. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. yeah, Jordan says, last night in Soho was such an incredible surprise for me, and it was a fantastic experience at my local cinema. It's brilliant to see it finding a larger audience now. It was a universal release. So, yeah, yeah sorry about that. I don't know why. I mean, that's I mean, it probably does the credit like of A24. Yeah, 
doesn't it? Yeah. And then, and mm-hmm. that's why I was like, oh, it's got to be, you know, I was like, um, but yeah, yeah, it was a surprise for me too. I didn't think it, it was one of those that like, like Steve said, the trailer, I was like, oh, okay. Let me, mm-hmm. I didn't, I don't like the, it didn't do anything for me. I was like, what is this about? And I think that's part of the, the fun of it because by the time you get into it, you're like, all right, well, I've heard good things about the home theater and that's what drew me to it. And then you actually get the story and you're like, oh my God, that was fun. That was a great setup. It was a great story. And I thought it, I thought it, uh, even watching it multiple times, I thought it moved along really well. Um, I didn't find it to be slow at any time at any viewing. Um, so yeah, really, really good. Really enjoyed that one. So, all right. Uh, let's see who's up next. All right, here we go. I'll be quick with this one. All right. And I'll be quick with the last one too. Cause we only got like 10 minutes, but yeah. All right. You ready, Steve? Yep. Let's do this. Okay. So this is scream three on three. 4k disc, um, and, uh, DTS HD 5.1. Um, yeah, I'll be quick on this. It just came out here again a couple of weeks ago in 4k. Um, I, I'm denied about buying this. Jordan will tell you because uh, he was DMing me to tell me it had come out. And I was saying, no, I don't think I'm going to get this. Um, but I did because to me, this is by far the weakest of the Scream movies. Um, and we talked about the issues with the fax machine on the um, on the, the house where the, all the power has gone. Um, and sure enough, that scene is still ridiculous. Um <laughs> so yeah, I, I watched got it, watched it. Um, it's still the weakest of the screen movies. Um, and and, the, and I realized this time why. And it's because this time it is it goes too meta. It's gone beyond the joke. It's gone beyond the knowing winks of the first and the second. This one has gone too far. And and the filmmakers knew they did because four, five, and six go back again, um, back to one and two. Um, so, yeah, it's too much of a jokiness, too um, knowing, too sort of winking at the camera, um, and it's weak. Um, so it was all right, uh, but it's not good compared to the others. Mm. Um, the But there are people out there that really like it, and, you know, fair play to them for that. Um, so in terms of the HT experience, it looks better than it ever has. It's a very solid video presentation. Um, it it It... You know, it, it does have an increase in detail level. Um, the HDR adds a little bit to it, but not a lot. This is not a demo disc. You're not going to pull this out to show this off or show your system off, um, both the video and the audio. It's DTS HDMA. There are some, you know, some surround bits. There's some nice musical cues that creep to the back of the room into the rear speakers. Um, but it's a solid disc. This is your kind of your, your three out of five type sort of discs. It's better than the Blu-ray but it's not one that, that really shows off 4K. Um, it is cheap over here. Again, it's nineteen ninety nine, um, comparatively cheap. Um, and so if you're a fan of the film, pick it up. I will keep it in the collection because it, it'll it complete. Sooner or later, Scream 4 will come out, and then I'll have them all. Um, so for completists only, I would say, or fans of the film. Oh, there you go. Cool. All right. You go. I have cool. not seen this one in 4K. I haven't seen this one since probably the theater. Mm. And and like yeah, you, after yeah. you see it in the theater, you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> it's like yeah, this first is, two were a lot of fun, and yeah, quite. And it's not jump helped. the shark, think, baby. I was gonna use. I was gonna say that jump the knife. Um, yeah, <laughs> but it's just. But it's all. It, but it is this one, and it keeps talking about trilogies and the ending mm. of the Scream franchise, and you're like, well, I know that's not. So it's even worse now because you're like, here's well, an interesting comment. Now, yeah, Chris. Yeah, yeah, I see that. You like three better than four. Yeah, um, yeah four is quite forgettable as well. But this one just <laughs> seems to be very, very kind of. It, it, they almost literally wink at the camera. You know, they've gone way too far. You've got you know Jay and Silent Bob turn up. I mean, like you know they're great characters, <sighs> but what the hell are they doing in this? Right. You know, it's very, very strange. Um, but um, but yeah, it it it. it it, it is what it is. Most people have seen it, I'm sure. And if you like it, then it's you know it's worth picking up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, and it's it, it also these movies uh get the benefit of being like you want to be a completionist, right? And if you're gonna mm, get right. one and two, and then they pick up later on, you're gonna right. and you're enjoying the you're like, eh, I gotta have the set, right? So and then That's you watch cool. it and go, maybe I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't need yeah. the set. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, last one. Uh, yeah. And you know what? I'd seen this when it came out on 4K. I, I say you watched this again because we just talked about this. 
I hadn't seen it in a while. I feel like we talked about it not too long ago. Yeah, but it, it's when I brought this up and uh, let's 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 bring it up and let everybody in on it. <laughs> Blade. <laughs> so I bought. I actually I had already owned this one. Um, I had because it was in 4K HDR on you know Atmos on. I think the last time I watched it was on my Zipedi. And when I brought this up on the Kaleidoscape, and I may have watched this in the past without the Lumigen, because this time I'm just like, holy crap. Like, I thought it looked good before. But this here, I was actually going to do, and we don't have time to do it, but I, I watched this. I watched Underworld, and I watched Morbius. And I was going to do, I had a whole, like, a, I could do a whole half hour show on those three movies. And like, each one has, you know, their benefits, right? And each one of them is like, not as good as something, something in the other ones. Um, Only one of them has Kate Beckinsale. So correct. That's all yeah, I that's need That's my say boy that. right there. That's <laughs> my boy right there. All right. So, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my God. But what was disappointing is, is when you go back and you watch Underworld, which is also in 4K, uh, I believe came out after this, correct? This was 98. I want to say Underworld was like 2000. Yeah. 2001, right? Mm -hmm. The grain in Underworld. Now, Underworld looks fantastic. I, I love that movie. I watched it. Over and over, I love the series. I love the story in that entire series. I, I I'm trying to get away from the term guilty pleasure because I shouldn't have to feel guilty about something I like. But I I just love that story. I love the series. Every time they came out with one, I was like, oh my god, great, another one. Um, probably had a lot to do with Kate Beckinsale. But <laughs> anyways, and there was one she wasn't even in, right, John? <laughs> yeah, Rona Mitra. <laughs> yeah, was in it. which was, was like, again a worthy, a worthy it. substitute, a worthy contender. Yes, <laughs> yeah. a worthy contender in the in the light. You got to own the set, right, John? Right, so, got to have them all, <laughs> buddy. I do I mean, have the box set. <laughs> right, John came up here and visited, and we watched three movies. <laughs> we watched six movies. We threw Hulk in in the middle just for the hell of it. Right. Um, no, but yeah, it. But when you watch, so you watch Blade. It is so well restored if you want to call it. It is from 98 that it's like, it, it is just absolutely gorgeous. And then you go and you look at Underworld and you're like, seriously, can we clean up some of that grain? Can you get, can you make it look a little bit more, make those deep blacks look just a little cleaner, you know, not have the texture that they need, that the grain is giving it. And then you go to Morbius and you're like, wow, Blade, Morbius is what, a year old? And yeah. it's got all the modern features. It's got everything, right? It is awesome. The sound in Morbius is just the the atmos that they use and those scenes at the end of the movie when they when he's using the sonar and stuff and the way that reverberates through your room. It's like, oh man, if they but that was did that didn't even exist with Blade. But the picture in Blade is so close to being, they just didn't have the same color. Like Morbius is like a dark version of Thor Love and Thunder, right? It's bright. It's got lots of nice like neon in it. It's a lot of nice colors. But Blade has none of that. And Blade and Underworld almost are like monochromatic, except for when they want to show you blood, right? Or any color, really. The, oh, John oh, just dropped oh, out. Oh. He's done. John, John, he's, I'm tired of Blade. He said that when we started. He goes, didn't we just talk about this? No. Um, yeah, so it, it's, I mean, Blade, I think it, it's just it, such a great movie. It looks so good. It looks very, very modern, and it's such a great movie. So, um, and I think it's a great horror movie, too, you know, to go along mm -hmm. with the Halloween theme. It's, I mean, it's got vampires, Steve. That's the, mo that's the like historical horror movie, a Dracula yeah. movie, a vampire movie. You know, they can't all be Evil Dead Rise. No, See how I bring I, that right back around for it? The professional do, that do. we are, we worked on it. And we even practiced the part where John drops out so he doesn't have to talk about Evil Dead Rise again. <laughs> where do you think? I don't know. I, that's very strange. The trick or treaters lining up down the block. So he's, uh, you know, he's had to go and like. Oh, did he up. just? He might have just. Did he say that? He did say he hey, he had to get out had at to seven. Right? He knows yeah, that he hard of an out. Die. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> for like, for like ten <laughs> seconds after time. seven o'clock, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, so I I think now I don't I wouldn't call Blade a horror movie. I think it's a it's a comic book action movie. Yeah. Um, but I would call it a perfect movie. I love mm. Blade. Um, and and this came out in the summer that I was working in a cinema when I got back from the US. I started working in a cinema, came out here a bit later than over in the US, and I saw this film. 30, 40, 50 times, including the ending, because, of course, as I should we go in as the movie is ending. John's trying to come back in. There um, he is. And I, I absolutely love this film. I've seen it many, many, many times. Um, and, all right, John, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I thought you I, had to go in and see to the trick-or-treaters. Uh, yeah, you said you had well, a hard out at 7 o'clock for the trick-or-treaters, and I was well, like, I wow, do, he's but, not kidding. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, no, they'll, goodbye. They'll be, They'll be coming by shortly, but yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know what happened. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> but, Thanks for uh, coming back. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so I, so I gotta go. No, we'll be done in a sec. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I, I think Blade is a perfect film, and and I absolutely love this movie. Um, I like this. I have the same relationship with Blade and Blade Two as I have with Alien and Aliens. It's like, which is your favorite? I, I love them both. I can't choose between them, and I'm the same with these. I love one and two, yeah. three. Dreadful, but I, know I you love are. three. I, know I don't love do. it as much you. as two and one and two. I think they're the better movie, but I do love. I, I just, I just love how they uh, just Brought they Jessica went. Kind of, in. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I mean, well, you, Kate Beckinsale was already busy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like, but it, and I love Ryan Reynolds in that too. I, yeah. I just, I, I like how they added that little bit of comedy to it. Too. Yeah, and well, it's they, like they made a which massive I thought, mistake. Yeah, Sorry, well, in your right. eyes. <laughs> yeah, well, they shouldn't have brought Dracula into it because yeah. he's mm. Dominic. 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 Uh, Sol, yeah, he Dominic, looks like uh, a great Dracula too in that movie. Purcell? I thought he pl- just yeah. Dominic Purcell. Purcell. Yeah. He is a yeah. he is a charisma vacuum in that film, though. I mean, David Goya wrote one and two. I mean, he directed yeah. three, but I I just think they should have stopped it too. Um, but uh, but there we go. But I so I yeah, so one it. and two are fantastic, and I get that. And but that's, yeah, I know. I wanted to get to three this week to really, and I didn't even know John was doing Evil Dead Rise, but I was going to just, just to turn the screws to you, Steve, I wanted to have a double feature of Blade and Blade, Tr- Blade Trinity, as yeah. it's called. Yes. Um, yes. I bought them both. I already had one and two, but I bought, I have uh Blade, oh, it's not even, I, yeah, there it is. You can see it's right next That's to Blade Runner, yeah, yeah. Blade mm-hmm. Trinity. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, so there you go. There you go. So that's our nope. that's our week, everybody. And uh, oh, yeah. I have one horror. It is Halloween coming up. Uh, Jen and I are going to be watching this one uh, mm. later this evening. A oh. Haunting in Venice. Have you guys heard of this? Any? I've, I've, I've heard of it. Yeah, it's it's, a, it's the third of the the uh, the Poirot films. You yeah. had a, the de- you had um, a Death on the Nile. Yeah. Um, and Murder had, on the Orient um, Express. Yes, indeed. And yep. then which are both okay. And then this one though is is different. It's not. I don't think it's actually a Christie book. It's more supernatural. This is more mm-hmm. of a. This is that's not why I think someone yeah. is a killer type thing. Apparently, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's why I think Jen will like it. It seems like something. It's got the supernatural part and the haunting, the whole thing. So it's, mm. it's a fun one at an hour and forty three. We're going to try to take that in in a little bit. So nice. That will be our Halloween night because our dogs are so crazy. We can't have trick or treaters, unfortunately, yeah. which is too bad. But I love. Mm giving out candy yeah so uh, and they didn't let me do it in the van anymore to the kids so, <laughs> you know. mm-hmm. that restraining order still in place is it DJ? we were yeah. just talking about that at the at the restaurant the other day and they're like D- remember during covid that you around here we had like the trunk or treating so yeah like, well, they go still they do that here too yeah they do and it i'm like still. what's that huh? Yeah, well, trunk or treating. So, because apparently you could get COVID walking around your neighborhood, but if you got you gather everybody in a parking lot and you go from trunk to trunk of a car and you hand out candy, that yeah. supposed to avoid it. But I was like, never mind all that. I don't care. I get the idea. You okay? But how about we spend three hundred sixty four days of the year telling kids not to take candy from people in cars? And then we line up a bunch of cars in a parking lot and tell kids. Go well, nuts. but <laughs> the other 364 days, you're not knocking on people's doors looking for candy either, to be right. fair. But yeah. um, the idea is just to get 
you have a place where hmm. kids can gather and well get lit. candy. You're not because the now they do it yeah. in park. They do it in like the parks yeah. and things rather than going house to house. Yeah. But yeah, we had trunk or treat in the parking lot of my store. Mm. Well, in our parking lot yesterday. That's the problem. That, that's the problem I have with it is they don't do it on Halloween. Like they did it yesterday. Oh, they do it on the weekend. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, yeah. oh, well, now I got to give out candy twice. <laughs> so, that, that is oh, yeah. <laughs> not you know. it yet at all. Yeah. That That is a completely new thing. Well, yeah. see, we uh, just brought soon. it to you. So there you go. Yeah, right. yeah, you can yeah. thank Roadside Home Theater invented. for. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. That will do it for this week. Uh, we oh, Steve's got one for next week. It's not a horror. It's uh, we're gonna. Uh, are you gonna be able to take it in? I don't know. I might. You I haven't bought it yet. So uh, it, uh, I know uh, it's on H. It's I know it's on Max though. So yeah. I mean, I I, I, I could do up. a podcast just on that. It is no. fantastic. Oh well, there we go. Like, maybe yeah, I'll buy RB. it. Yeah. And, and what I would say to you, John, if it, if it helps to whet your appetite, it, it it starts exactly as you think it will, and it transforms into something else. Oh, entirely. so fantastic. I absolutely want to see it. Like, I have every intention of buying it. I just, you mm. know, was going to wait till it was 15 bucks and not 30 bucks. You yeah. Know? So, <laughs> yeah, it was, it, it's, I, I love the movie. I, I mean, mm. we had a blast with it. Mm. I, I got my t shirt, right? I'm, I'm Ken enough. I got my yeah. T-shirt ready to go for next yeah. week. I mean, you don't, have to, you don't have to convince me necessarily to watch yeah. it. I just, yeah, I well, buy very I, few things at full price. <laughs> yeah, well, of course. Well, I, I didn't. I so. didn't. I bought this almost in spite of myself. I had no idea whether yeah. I was going to like this or not. And, I, and when I sat down to watch it last night, I wasn't sure I was in the mood. And I was talking to someone earlier today about it, and I, 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 I was transformed. And I mean, <laughs> I, I have to say, at the end of this, we'll talk more about this next week. Yeah, yeah. I, there is a line in this. It had me in floods of tears. Wow. And that is not what mm. I expected from yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. uh, honestly, mm. it, it, it is, it is, well, I can't wait to talk about it next week. Yeah. It's going to be good. So, good show. Yeah, it's well worth it. It really is worth seeing. Um, so, yeah. Oh, on next hey, week. this is a going out on a high note, finally. Yeah. Thank you. Good night. Yeah. Theo, thank yeah. you, buddy. <laughs> Greatest show ever for me. Looking forward to seeing the 24, 25-hour show. Yeah. So, yes, thank you, Theo. Thank you for reminding me. I have that this weekend. I, I penciled it in. It's on my right. calendar. <laughs> uh, 6 a.m. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Tomorrow night, 8 a.m. Yeah, this Saturday is going to be fun. <laughs> tomorrow <laughs> night, 8 p.m., uh, Todd and I will be doing a quick one-hour preview of the uh, 25 hours of home theater. So uh, we'll be doing that. And then I uh, hope to see everybody at some point. I don't expect people to be there the entire time. Uh, but uh, I hope pop in, say hi whenever you want. I go for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to be starting and it'll be, what, 10 o'clock your time? You'll be yep, like done in. with your bacon and eggs. Or your tea and crumpets or whatever. At least you're not oh, there we go. See, I thought yeah. you were moved on from crumpets. But no. you just went back to that. No, I go right back to that. Go right back yeah. to that. So all right. Yep. Thank you everybody. Thanks to everybody in the chat. Had a blast. A lot of great comments. Um, and like I said, I've said so many times, we have a hard time doing the show because I'm watching you guys. Like I want to be in on that chat. So yeah. All right. Um, yeah. I'll see you tomorrow night. I'll see you this weekend. Have a great time. And uh, what do you got to do? Go push play. What he said. Hey, Fred. This has been a Hey, Fred production with theme music by Jeff Bernhardt and Throne Vault Productions.